Alexander Hamilton. My name's not Alexander Hamilton. So please don't call me Alexander Hamilton. That's not my name. Not my name. How you doing? Welcome back to Puzzles. You ready for puzzles? I hope you're ready for puzzles. We have a few of them. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Wow, thank you. My god. Look at him go. How you doing? He did there. Hello, everyone. Um, stuck at the airport. Oh, no, Clover. Hope you're on your way shortly. Um, we're gonna get back to this. If you missed last time, I'll give you a brief recap. But it's the Layton game. None of it makes sense. Don't worry about it. I play Layton games for the puzzles and to be mad and confused. So, we're off to a good start. Um, but I uh, uh, hope everyone's doing good. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's over there. All right. Um, hi. Hello. Nothing ever makes sense ever. Mm hmm. Oh no, Zachatron. Dang. People having a normal one out here. <laughs> Hope things are uh, more sane soon. Um, hello, hello, hello. Uh, we're gonna get going here. Um, bam, bam, bam. Uh, I did want to briefly share. Why don't I? Why don't I do this ahead of time? I'm like, I have a thing I want to do. Doesn't prepare it. Um, bam, 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 bam. Um, mm, me brother. Thank you for the bits. Um, my my brother, my brother, my brother, and my brother. He did it single-handedly. He did it all by himself. He made every graphic. He has the man. And I thought that was rad, and I'm fucking excited for him and proud of him. It's amazing. He did the- yeah, he beat German. Physically, over the head, with an Oscar. Yeah, it's- it's gone viral. Anyway. Uh... Woo, yeah! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, well, I was streaming during the Oscars, so, you know. Where's my streamy? I don't know if anyone can take it seriously, what it's called, the streamy. I don't know. I- I- listen. All award shows are dumb, and I don't care, unless I win one. Then it's a high honor, and I really appreciate it. It's not even a bit. <laughs> it's not even, like, I don't remember the last time I've watched an award show other than maybe the Game Awards, which is more for the trailers than anything else. 
I mean, if I was nominated for an award, that, that is a very nice, cool thing. Just, most award shows are just kind of circle jerks. And they're by design. There's not really a way to do it other than it being a circle jerk. It's just, to what degree is it just kind of a circle jerk? So, it's fine. I'm not- I'm not trying to be a hater, it's just like, I used to, you know, watch the Oscars every year, like an Oscar party, and then after a couple years, I was like, wait... I don't really care about rich, famous people patting each other on the back, I think. I'd rather just like what I like and move on with my life. But... It's fine. It's not a big deal. A jerkle sir. Yo, Viz! How you doing? My bet jiggles the potential for a Grammy? Fuck yeah. Let's go. If I made an award show, what would they be called? Um... I... Mm. The, um... The Boring Non-Pretentious Awards. <laughs> oh no, maybe the Boring Pretentious Awards. Maybe you gotta lean into it. The Clippies. Yeah, the Clippies. The Beamies? The Beamy... Beamy Peamy. A Circus Jerk. The Bearies. Isn't that the BAFTAs? <laughs> Boom! Bam. Got him. The casuals. The filthy casuals. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to make it not sound like a band. Like, name for an award show is kind of the same... It's like the plural noun. It's the same structure. The BAFTAs. That's good. That's very good. Hey, welcome. We're just getting started. Um, so, uh, uh but yeah. I, I don't know. I don't, th I don't think I have anything else to ramble about, so let me get cop alerts and we do a puzzle or two. We have many puzzles left in this game. We've just scratched the surface. Um, thank you, Sleepy Demon Goat. Hope you're doing well. Deer's show was the, the, the clippies. And then and then when Deer was standing in front of it, it looked like it said the pies. And I was like, ooh, now that's an award show I would watch. It's basically a bake-off, but like an award show with all the pomp and circumstance that necessitates. The Golden Gorgles! Yeah, we got daylight savings. So, if my stream time is even weirder than usual, that's partially why. It is Pi Day, holy fuck. 3.1415. I should have started at 151. Is it 3.141592653589? I don't remember. I used to know like 15 odd digits. I forgot. I'm just watching everything. Right? That's how I feel. Happy Ma Maria Day! Happy Maria! Maria! Holy shit. What is that song? Longest time in the fridge is Flora. Yeah. She, she earned that one fair and square. Fucking Maria Day. That makes me mad. Uh, anyway. Oh, uh, hey. In between streams. Um. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Thunder Bunny streams reset for eight months. And said, happy eight months. Since I've run out of good stuff to say in these, let me share a dad joke instead. Why do melons have weddings? Because they cantaloupe. I'll see myself out back. Now back to Vodland. Thank you. Thank you, Thunder Bunny. Oh shit, Star Force? Yeah. Shooting star. Boom. Uh, and also, Phoenix, 9018, reset for 28 months. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Amphi, thank you for 41 months and a tier 3. Welcome back. Hyper Luke. Look at him go. Oh, Gron, thanks for 38 months. Time to watch more Layton, even though I haven't finished the last VOD. The plot went up being nonsense anyway. Yeah, and it, there'll be a recap. It's fine. You probably didn't miss much. I mean, if you, if you didn't catch the tail end of last stream, that was all flashback stuff. Which we can summarize very succinctly. Kiryu? But oh, honeydew. Honeydew. Toaster Posey, thank you for the hammy. I'm not caught up on Sunday's VOD because it was my birthday. I had to continue the tradition of giving you bits on Chat's birthday because it's extremely funny. But your definition of funny is different than mine. Thank you, though. I thank you for it. And I hope you had a great birthday. Happy belated, Toaster. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Smash my thanks for 96 bits. Another food crime. Ranch flavored ice cream. No. Nope. Sounds good. No, it does no. I don't like ranch dressing when it's ranch dressing. Let alone in another media. So, I think I'm good. <laughs> I feel like most ranch dressing is just too much. 
overwhelming. Like, just dial it back, like, like 3%. Nope. Cold Ranchos. Mmm. Lane had cool airs, teenager. He was rad. He was a rad cool. Cool dude. Um. The, 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 uh, the, the guy with that thing. Thanks for six months to get that thing I sent you. If anybody asks, it wasn't me. Highly unsuspicious. Thank you. Welcome back. Enjoy, enjoy your golden key. Sir Aster, 29 months. Hyperloop, it's puzzle time. Rosebud Wolf, thanks for 500 bits. Adam Five Numbers, thanks for 100 bits. Pixel Kenji, thanks for 25 months. Just hit credits on my eternal diva catch-up. I can't believe Dr. Robotnik really just made that machine just as a stepping stone to get Zelda's lullaby. It's not even an, inac not even an inaccurate summary of what happened. Uh, Smash, I think, for 100 bits. If this is the mask, does that mean... Son of the Mask has a weird CGI baby Layton and Lucas the Bunny is the one wearing the mask. Yes. I've never seen Son of the Mask. Let's say yes. Why Days Law in Japan right against chocolate for someone in Valentine's is socially obligated to give them some back because you white chocolates today? Oh, I have heard of that. I forgot. Right. It's like a second Valentine's Day. Usually white chocolate. See, I'm fine with all that except for the white chocolate part. <laughs> I've never liked white chocolate. Like some, you know, a lot of things like you're a kid, and you're like, oh boy, candy. And then when you're older, you're like, oh, candy is a lot. I, I'm, I'm good. Like, I definitely preferred milk chocolate to dark chocolate when I was younger. Now I prefer dark chocolate. But I've never liked white chocolate, man. It's always bad. It's a choice of a movie. The Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's how I did it. Double V. Big man. Dark chocolate's nice, yeah. Like, oh, that's valid. Don't get me wrong. It's valid. Just more for you, because I'm good. I, um, Captain Disco, thank you for 59 months. Loaf of Brett, thanks for 54 months. Enjoy your key card key. We love Layton. We do. We love our dapper fencing brainiac. Birthday cake flavored Kit Kats tastes at least like regular white chocolate. Hmm. I can see that, but also I, there are so many things I would rather consume before that. Link someone your stream on Twitter over overlay inspiration. You blew their mind. How did I blow their mind? Oh, are you talking about with the DS? Because normally my overlay is very simple. This is thanks to Dan. I don't know if I've said that enough. Because I was struggling to be like, how the fuck do I fit two screens at the maximum size I can make them and all the other shit that I need to, I need to have room for, like, follow and, and subber over there. I need to have room for my alerts. I need to have room for chat and two screens. Um, and Dan was like, boom. And it was it was basically first try perfect. I tweaked a couple minor things, but yeah. Dan Jones, he's the best. I used to hate Fark chocolate, but then I learned it's good for cramps and forced myself to like it. I just like that you said Fark chocolate. I know it was a typo, but shout outs to fucking Dan Jones, right? He's the best, he's great. D incredible artist, but also a great graphic design. Is ah. I always end up whenever I'm playing a DS game in particular, I have a, like a nest of cables because I have three cables coming out of the DS. I have power, which I can unplug at some point, but the battery lasts for like 20 minutes, and then I plug it back in the end. The video cable over here, which is very delicate and can make the capture stop, and audio. And all of them are really long cables that just snake around my chair, and I always end up rolling over them. Anyway, uh, you don't have to worry about that. I, too, am delicate. Hold me tender like a USB cable coming out of a modded 2DS. Dan has been here under things for 15 months. I am now a small toddler waddle waddling around Barry's house. Anybody's same base kid? Whose sassy child is this? Thank you, welcome back. Bouncy Creeper, thanks for 60 months. Mario, enjoy your Kiwi Key. Thank you for five years. It's a lot. Kruskin, thank you for 62. Love me some late and can't wait for the next one. Right? Soon, TM. I'm excited. The correct way to eat dark chocolate. You stick a chunk of it in your mouth and suck on it for a while like peppermint. It improves the flavor hundredfold because it tastes like it gets sweeter the longer it stays in your mouth. I swear it works. Doig! Thank you. Well, Donkey Kong Coyote, that may be true, but I just straight up like dark chocolate. I like when it's bitter. That might be good advice for people that are like, I don't like dark chocolate because it's bitter. And I'm tre I'm trying to force myself to like it. Try that. Try sucking on it. But I just like it. Doink! And or Swift. What are these? Get them off me. Hello. Hi, Doink or Swift. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Thank you. Oh, 
Sweet Ben, sweet do that for. Thank you. Hope you're doing good. Y'all are the best. Da -na -na -na, da -da -da. It's all that cadmium and lead. Mm. I want, I want the like top shelf, the most possible heavy metals inside of my chocolate. Thank you. Airman, Half Moon. Thank you for 26 months. What the fuck? Why is time passing so fast? Help, Alan. I don't know. In my mind, I've been streaming for like maybe three years at most. Which sounds like a lot, but it's been five. Hey, Helix. PSA about dark chocolate. Product testing found that many US brands of dark chocolate contain unsafe amounts of lead and or cadmium from environmental contamination. Probably not just the US problem. Sorry for ruining your treat, dark chocolate lovers. If only it wasn't true. It is a God-given American tradition to consume horrendous chemicals no matter what you do. And I will be dead in the ground from these chemicals <laughs> before I stop eating these dangerous, deadly chemicals. <laughs> Thank you. This is a good PSA. So just watching your fine and she's hopping over now that you're live. Oh my goodness. Well, heck. I just saw the uh, the thumbnail y'all made for the, um, your, uh, uh, Echoes of the Eye Outer Wilds VOD. Which, oh my god, the clips I saw from you guys playing that. So fun. I adore that game, and it is... Watching anyone stream Outer Wilds is fun. Watching people stream Echoes of the Eye is like... Because it's so focused compared to the main game. I mean, it's really huge, but... It's, it's focused and it's spooky. <laughs> In a way that the base game is as well, but like spookier. It's very fun. It's super cute, unlike Echoes of the Eye. How dare you? Echoes of the Eye is the cutest <laughs> game. <laughs> Have you seen that? I don't want to spoil anything. So cute, though. India! Thank you for 14 months. whoop a doop doop I got a... Uh... Yeah. Echoes is not cute. It's great. Thank you. Thank you, Bull! Y'all are the best. Shouts to Doigswift. The chemicals will preserve my body. Yes, I want to leave a beautiful preserved corpse that I've been replaced by chemicals. And then in the, I just, it's like a wax statue. Just put put me in a glass coffin, like like Lennon, then they do that to Lennon. <laughs> and they'll be like, he died eating a lot of dark chocolate in America. Don't do this. Heart house. Chemicals are fun to drink. Yeah, I love drinking my favorite chemical H2O. Plus, whatever shit they put in the water. It makes me good at video games and bad at reading. Ugh. All right. Hey, I'm Cobb. Thanks, y'all. Hope you're good. Uh, we're going to hop back into the game, though. Um, last time, which was the first time, um, uh, late Luke and Layton came to the city of Mont d'Or, which is basically Vegas in England somewhere? Question mark? Not sure. Don't worry about it. There's a desert. And it's in the middle of nowhere. City sprung up 18 years ago, basically out of nothing. And it's this big old fancy carnival town. Oh, and there's a guy, a masked gentleman, who's up to mischief. He's turning people into stone, and people into horses, and people into stone horses, and the horses into stones, and the stones into tiny boulder-shaped horses. And it's really cute, but it is disrupting the local economy. So we need to put a stop to him and figure out what's going on. At the same time, we've been getting flashbacks where Leighton was a sassy teenager who didn't care about archaeology, despite the insistence of his best friend Randall that archaeology is super cool and gets you all the babes. And Leighton's like, I like babes. Maybe I should try this archaeology thing. So there's stuff going on there. We've kind of like left it at the end of like a chapter with that. We'll, we'll, re we'll resume our flashbacks later. But um, there's this sort of like situation with Leighton, his best friend Randall, who's a sassy, spunky kid. Um, a friend of theirs... Uh, Angela Lador, who now lives in the city in a big old mansion, um, and her husband, Henry, who was previously, like, a servant helper? Not really clear. He kind of worked for the... Was it Randall's family or Lador's family? I forget which. Whatever. He's... We've only briefly seen him. Uh, and we haven't seen him in modern day yet. But we're back in the present, and we're, we're sleuthing. So... It was Randall's family. Gotcha. Yeah. They do, 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 do. Mon decay, thank you for soup. If they didn't want me eating these lead salts in my soup, why do they make them so delicious? Taps ancient Roman forehead. Thank you. Everybody, thank you for 100 bits. Layton, this trap reminds me of a puzzle. Luke, Professor, is this really the time? 
Layton, there's always time for a puzzle. Luke, I'm drowning, Professor! Layton, now Luke, a true gentleman, leaves no puzzle unsolved. Luke! Ah, oh, I see, the answer was three. Ooh, I got some pick rats, Luke. Luke? He's just bobbing face down in the water. The water that's like three inches deep, and he somehow managed to drown. Anyway, they're fine. They're all fine. Uh, show me, show my ears these tasty Layton jams. Oh, perfect timing. Perfect timing at the start of this. I, this theme is the greatest theme. Like, I forgot everything about this game, and when I started replaying Layton games, like last year or whenever, I was just like, which one had that banger opening theme? And it was this one. It's so good. They all, every Layton game has a good main theme, but this one is my favorite. Damn. Wait for it. Oh! God damn. I hope whoever's working on the new one is the same composer. I just want to listen to this for a sec before I hop back in. Last Spectre. Azran Legacy is really good too. Yeah. Well, level 5 to make a new Dark Cloud or Rogue Galaxy. Yeah. It's like the Pacha meme. Oh. It sings. When when the light hits that DS cart just right. It's me. I'm making the music and it's gonna fucking suck. <laughs> It's all, like, out-of-tune dubstep that's been filtered through a, a, a fucking trumpet. Anyway, uh, continue. Put me back into the puzzles. Me. I hate that I accidentally saved in the third slot, and I don't think you can delete a save. The story so far. Luke went up and went, Meow. The morning after their arrival in Montdeor. Yeah, the... The recaps in this game always leave something to be desired, because they're not really a recap. It's like, here's what happened most recently. Which is like, it's fine, but it assumes you remember everything before that point, which is a big assumption. Excuse you. Do not assume. Anyway, the morning after the arrival of Monteor, the Professor, Luke, and Amy set out to continue their investigation. Layton sets off once again for the Ledore estate to speak with Henry, who was out in a boot last night. He barely has the mask locked up in his study, or had it previously. We weren't able to get in there last night. So let's find out. Luke, what are you doing on the furniture? Down. Down, boy. He's got a little spritz bottle. Keeps in his suitcase. But, Professor! Oh, uh, great. I forgot everything was in 3D. Uh, Ma'am, do you have a puzzle? You don't. Good. Yes, sir. Alexander May I? Hamilton. Play a hammy Thanks for, for you? Alexander Hamilton. How many times can I say Alexander Whoa. Hamilton? Yo. Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Alex. <sighs> Congrats, Jorkelber. Thank you so much for the hammy. Wanted to let you know I've got accepted to law school. Want to thank you and chat for being such an endearing community because these streams have truly helped me get through some rough patches of self-doubt and fear. No self-doubt. No fear. Congrats. That is a huge accomplishment. I hope it goes well. Thank you very much for the hammy. Not at all necessary, but appreciate it. Thank you so much. And, uh, can't wait to, uh, hit you up when I get sued for all of my uh, endangering claims on stream. Right? That's, uh, I'll get some pro bono law advice once you, once you're, once you're fancy law, law officer. A law, uh, law pref, law fesser. Represent all of chat. <laughs> chat v. Barry. <laughs> Hey, thank you, though. JJ Wildheart, thanks for 50 months. That's almost 51 months, correct. Sarcast? What the? Sarcastic news! Thank you for five gifted subs. The 36 Days Light Jaw Cruncher, Kaylee E, Agrippa's Grimoire, and two cans of soda. Thank you. Welcome, welcome back. Hope you enjoy the emotes. You need an archaeologist for that. They're pro bondos. The... Uh, you look so familiar. I thought that was you, Esther. Of course, it's little Herschel Layton. Let me have a look at you. You're quite a dashing young man, and you finally cut your hair. A friend of yours, Professor? My face when I get buried, but it's back. That's why I love Quank. 
There's so much emotion in his, in his big dumb eyes. Uh, yes, from long ago. This is Esther. My, what are you doing here? Are you on holiday? Oh, heavens no. I moved here. I guess it has been five years now. Stansbury's quite the ghost town now, you know. You could have told me you got married and had children. Wedding invitations to old ladies just get lost in the mail, I suppose. Wedding? Oh, my, no. This is my assistant, Emmy, and my apprentice, Luke. Luke is the son of a good friend. Hello, Emmy Altava. We were actually in the middle of looking for Cookie's mother, so... That's nice, dear. You know, Herschel, it wouldn't hurt to visit every now and then. Damn. Ma'am? I never thought I'd say this, but I miss the old Stansbury. Living here has been nice, but lately it's been so scary. That masked gentleman just gives me the chills, although I must say, there is something intriguing about him. I heard that some tourists were turned into stone horse paintings, or were they painted into stone horses? Regardless, it was bad. It's like me recapping the game for real. Thank you, Esther. There were a few incidents, actually. Please be careful. It was wonderful seeing you again. I could have gotten married, but they won't let me marry puzzles. I've tried. The arcade's playing lively, and the guy books. That's all the same. All right. Yeah, all right. Out of here. She got the gist of it. Sir? My shining teeth are a striking reflection of my massive wealth. Nice to meet you, sir. Oh my, go away, you little ragamuffins. Uh, nice to meet you too, sir. What's your name, shiny rich man? Oh, what charming little street urchins. My name is Sterling, my dear. Isn't it past your bedtime yet? Well, it is 10 a.m. It's morning, shiny tooth. It is? Oh my, where has the time gone? Well, I... Are you children lost? I'm sorry, but I can't give you any money. I'm trying to help this girl find her mother, so she can stay with her from now on. One lost child helping another lost child, now that is rich. Hmm, now that I think about it. I saw a woman with bobbed hair and white trousers near Carnival Square. She was asking around for her daughter. That must be her. Thanks, Mr. Sterling. Yeah, thanks. Keep flashing them choppers. Chopper? Chopper? Well, I ne- Well, I never. Hmm. Poor rich man. Tell me about this poor, poor rich man. Ugh, I'm so wealthy. Ugh. Madame Lapushka likes to think she cares about her customers. When one fellow decides to wander in, it's a guarantee he'll leave feeling like a new man. My list reminds me of a puzzle. Welcome, what can I do for you today? We offer all kinds of attire from fancy dress to festival costumes. Sterling's my name, ma'am. As I'm sure you well know, I'm here to spend some money. I want something majestic, something that says power and influence, like, like gold cloth trimmed with diamonds. Gold cloth. Uh, I'm afraid we don't have anything quite so outlandish here. Might I make a suggestion? If you must, I'm not quite certain. I don't sense an impertinent tone, but go ahead. Well, you see, that white suit in your gold dental work is quite tacky. Really a bold choice in today's world. I commend you on your courage. If you'd like to stay in that same vein, we have a bear costume you might enjoy. Boom! I b I beg your pardon. I'm just trying to find something appropriate for your egotistical girth, my good man. Let me ask you something. <coughs> Do you have any family? Why, yes, I have a little boy who... Why am I telling you this? That's quite none of your business. Uh, n quite none of your business. Yes, well, all the same. I would suggest discarding this gold cloth nonsense and spending more time with your family. <laughs> yep. How long has it been since you've seen your little boy? Well, it has been quite a- Why should I tell you? That is rather none of your business, shopkeeper! Rather none at all! You can't handle my strongest advice. Sterling, money may buy you precious metals for a toothache, but it won't soothe your heartache. There is still time to change your life for the better. In the City of Miracles, everyone gets a second chance. I have all the... I have never been so insulted in my life. I will now take my leave of you. Good day. But before I storm out of here, perhaps you could point me in the direction of the nearest telephone. Oh, no, I wouldn't care to insult you even further, Sterling. I'm sure you're fully capable of finding one on your own. 
What an amazing episode. Thank you, video game. Layton said, sass the rich. Oh, puzzle! Madame Lapushka for president. I tell you that Angela is gorgeous. I ain't seen your husband around much. Now might be my chance. That's, yes. Very good, Frankie. Your chance, your chance for what? You're talking about Mrs. Lador, yes? Watch it, shrimps. You respect the lady and call her Mrs. Lador. You respect her by threatening adultery in her presence. The ladies love it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Good, let's keep it that way. Do you think things aren't going well with Mrs. Lador and her husband? Let's not jump to any conclusions, Luke. Especially not based on this gentleman's comments. I guess you got all the answers, lady. So you can just go nice. ahead and answer your own questions from now on. While you're at it, maybe you could solve this puzzle. I mean, I know the answer. I just want to see if you do. Mm-hmm. I believe you, Frankie. A and B? My god. Uh, tenth round ace. Uh, uh... A and B are confronting each other in a 10 round card game. The rules of this game are simple. Fire beats wood, wood beats water, water beats fire. A drew fire three times, wood five times, water twice. Player B drew fire twice, wood five times, water three times. There were no ties. Who won? Uh, uh. Oh! You know, I kept thinking, man, it's really annoying I can't display the question and then draw at the same time, but that's what the up arrow's for. Anyway. Glad I discovered that today and not in, like, three streams time. Uh, three? <clears throat> C? A drew fire three times. Wood five and, uh, uh Water two. And B drew fire twice. Wood five. And water trace. So, um, fire beats wood, wood beats water, water beats fire. So, with no ties, then. Uh, what if I just. Do they take. They must take turns. Or no, they don't take turns. They just play at the same time. I don't know what I'm thinking. So, a fire and a wood and a fire and a wood. Wood. And a fire and a wood. There's two of those. Fire, fire. Wood, wood. Um. And wood beats water. So we got... One, 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 one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wait, I wasn't keeping score. I was just crossing them out. Why did I think that was the way to get to the answer? I'm supposed to keep... What I learned? Absolutely nothing. For some reason in my brain, I was like, Oh, well, one will be left. Let's try that again. Um... <laughs> Nothing like starting with the very first puzzle being extremely simple, and I'm like... Hold on now. Hold on now. Uh... Three fire. Uh... Two fire. Five and five. And water. Uh... Two and three. So... I should just do the same thing and then keep score, huh? So... Fire beats wood, so... This is... Uh, three points. And then... Uh, two, this is three. Uh, two points. Um... Do, 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 do. Wood beats water. So these three beat these three for six. And then these two is, is four. So it's A. Okay. That took okay, me here we go. longer than it should have. Woo! That 
was no match for my wits. That was quite a match for my wits, apparently. Anyway. Player A must be the winner. Woo! Uh, one second. Do, 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 do. Am I texting in class? Uh, I brought enough text messages for the rest of the class. Is that... Does that make it okay? Too bad, I thought you were smart and... Wait, you solved it? I've been rolling that around my head for weeks. Yes, well, keep rolling it around in there. See if it ever comes back to you. Oh, hey, smart and sassy. You know Angela the door, but I like your style. I like your style. What's your style? I don't know, sir. Wait, let's go talk to Madame Lapushka. Never mind. I'm p texting Nintendo Power for tips. Yeah, I'm texting their hotline. Which has probably been closed for like a decade. The museum is still closed. The police must be investigating the scene. My mother was upset we couldn't get into the museum. Me? Not so much. I wonder if they'll reopen the museum. They got it at some point, don't they? Otherwise, they'll turn to a museum. I imagine all of that will depend on what the police find and when they find it. Is a closed museum still a museum? Does it become a museum to itself? Hmm. Yeah, whoop. Why, hello there, darlings. How goes the investigation? Quite well. I wanted to thank you for your help, Madam Lepushka. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just glad to hear that you're faring better than the police, darling. They're absolutely stumped. I guess they're not interested in exploring the attractive wonders of Monteor in order to unearth the truth. The attractive wonders of Monteor? Are you referring to hint coins? The hell are hint coins? No. Let me just say, I think you may want to try the racetrack or pumpkin park. Maybe a scarf to go with your jacket. Why do you say that, Madame Lepushka? Well, if the masked gentleman likes crowds, why not search where people gather? And a scarf would brighten up this look, darling. Points taken. Thank you. Thank you. A grand museum. Beep boop beep. Beep boop beep. Dee, 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 dee. I get the appeal. She's great. All right. Here. Yeah. Aha, so we meet again. Good to see you, Mordy. Do you have business here as well? Oh, Professor, I'm out looking for clues to help explain last night's events, but I've turned up absolutely nothing. I always wanted to be a detective, so I thought perhaps I could find something and help out a bit, but I failed. Have a safe, boring flight, Clover. Take care. Goodbye. Nonsense! An investigation demands persistence. Don't get discouraged, Morty. This is quite a tricky case. Hey, a ragtime. Thank you, Professor. I'll remember that. Where did this little girl come from? Weren't you with a young boy earlier? Ha, yes. See? You do have quite the observant eye. This is Cookie. I'm lost! My mom's lost. However you want to look at it. Morty, have you seen a red-headed woman wearing a purple jacket? If I'm not mistaken, I just saw someone like that in Carnival Square. She was asking around about a little girl. I'm sure it can't be a coincidence. Thanks, mister. See, you'll be a detective soon enough. Oh my, my first solved case. How exciting. If you need any other help, Professor, please don't hesitate to ask. Bye bye pal. Smell you later. Oh, God. Leighton and Morty. Everybody has practically forgotten about what happened last night. It's almost like it never even happened. 
Yes, things have certainly calmed down. I imagine, I assumed some downtime was necessary, even for the City of Miracles. It's just weird. Everybody gets into a panic over these dark miracles, yet the next day it's no big deal. What's with that? I wonder how long people put up with all the chaos before they decide to skip town. Let's hope we find the masked gentleman before it comes to that. Enough doom and gloom for one day. Let's chill out with a puzzle. The 3D models game are really cute. To me, they... They're hit or miss. I think there's some... Because the, the latent 2D art, similarly... I wouldn't say it's hit or miss, but some people have ridiculously Picasso proportions, and some people just kind of look like more standard anime characters with maybe like a big head. Some people are really goofy looking, but there's a lot of variety. And I feel like some of that translates well to this 3D style and some not as much. But I think for a first attempt, it is solid. And I don't remember Azran Legacy being significantly better, but I am optimistic for the new one. That they'll they'll make it just they'll make it work out. It's beautiful. Yeah, people have been saying it gets better than Azran. I just I don't remember. <laughs> I think I played them as they came out a couple years apart, and I just wasn't fresh on what it looked like. The Emperor's Throne. Look at these penguins, though. You want to talk about 3D models. These guys look great. Six penguins are standing on an iceberg, five small ones, and their rather portly emperor. All penguins can move either horizontally or vertically, but once in motion, they won't stop until they hit another penguin. If there's nothing in the way, they'll plunge straight into the sea. Can you help the Emperor Penguin get back to his rightful place in the center of the iceberg? Touch and hold a penguin, then slide in the direction you want him to slide. He'll keep sliding until it bumps into another penguin. Be careful! If he doesn't stop, he'll fall into the sea. Um. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me, uh. Let me, uh, let me, let me think about. Um. What if. We. This, and then you can do this, and then, uh, wait, am I supposed to do, can I get him to do that? No. Hmm. Penguin time. Play the kid's board game where you have ice picks as much cubes of compression, you gotta break as many as you can? Yeah. I don't remember being a polar bear, but I do remember a game like that. There were a couple games like that. But no, there was one that was like a little keeps of ice held together and you had to... That game kind of sucked, but the commercials were rad. Don't break the ice. Marketing used to be so good. <laughs> um, okay, so like this seems like definitely something. But then what am I missing from here? Um... Hmm... Hmm. I'll just send them into the ice. Goodbye. Now I'm king of the ice. Oh my god, he crushed him. Hmm. Hey Zay, thank you for the raid. Hello. How you doing? Cool to play with as a toy, but as a game wasn't all that great. Yeah. That's definitely true. There were a lot of board games that were kind of shit as games, but were fun to play with, because it was like a little contraption made of plastic. Brightly colored plastic. Uh... Maybe I gotta work... Back... Where... Mm. Hmm... What am I missing here? There's gotta be some kind of a thing. Made the same mistake you did? Yeah. Your VOD's audio, now I'm mute, so that's fun. Oh no, Zade! Sorry to hear that. There's an iceberg you had to put penguins on to keep it balanced. That also sounds familiar. Five moves. You had to write yourself to keep going. Okay. Oh, oh, I just... Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. Do this. Two here. Or not? How do... Hmm... Because I was like, oh, if I do this, I can stop him, but he's not- he needs, he needs to be down one more. Hmm. 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 N. 
Is that a beaver silhouette in the bottom? Huh? We talking on the, on the bottom screen? You had the right thought a minute ago, want to step ahead. Keep going. With this? Uh. Uh. Meh. No. Move the penguin. Bing, 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 bing. Uh, wait. No. Still no. The gray part. The gray? The gray? What? The iguana? Oh! Are you talking about it down over there? Yeah, that's an iguana. I think you have to reset. Maybe? Maybe, just maybe. Hmm. Him. Where are you? And I'm a penguin. I flip around on the ice today. I need some fish and always. Oh, point you want chats up? Go for it. <laughs> Just, you move big. You have it. And then what? And then what? And then, and then, and then what? Uh, down, left, up. Uh. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. I... Yeah, thank you. A fine puzzle for a gentleman. Don't know how I didn't see that. I was... I guess I was looking for a way to move the small penguin so I could just slide him over. Look at him go, though. Thank you. Never had a doubt. You always should have a doubt. Hooray. It has been hard to see the glass half full lately. Sometimes it's hard to see a glass at all. Some of the town's bigwigs have been coming around asking about business. Some of the managers and Mr. Lador. Henry, oh really? No, it's oh Henry. Yeah, uh, they act like everything's okay, but they seem pretty worried to me. They were doing an awful lot of arguing. Sounds like some major power struggles going on at the top of Mount Thor. Mount Thor, interesting. You didn't hear it from positive old me, but this town's gonna tear itself apart if the masked gentleman isn't stopped. What about the stone horses I've heard about? I would like to see them. Uh... Hmm. Cast the ring into the fires of Mount Dor. Hello, local citizen. There was criminal activity here last night. I've been assigned to investigate the scene and stand here. Have you been here all night? Actually, I just arrived. Another officer may have been here. Our, unif our uniforms make it hard to tell us apart. Yes, you look exactly like the officer we saw here earlier. The resemblance is rather uncanny. I guess it must be the uniforms. And not that they only made one policeman model. You, can't re you can recognize me because I'm the funniest officer on the force. Take my job, please. That was a humorous joke. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, he's got a gun. Um, target practice. I hate puzzles, and I shoot at them. A police officer was doing some target practice one day. Targets divided into sections worth 5, 35, 40, 75, and 100 points. After five shots, his score told 100. How many times did he manage to shoot each point section? Wait, wait, wait. After five shots, the score is 100. <laughs> Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it? Don't keep me in suspense. God damn it. There is no puzzle without a solution. He's a hot shot or a not shot. Good job. Good job. Well done. Sorry for calling you a local citizen earlier. I can sometimes seem cold and impolite when speaking with local tourists. Perhaps you can help me. Have you met any witnesses to help last night's in- to last night's in in incident? Actually, we witnessed the event ourselves. That information would have been useful before I asked that question. This investigation is very frustrating. Every lead we have is a dead end. The Smash Gentleman's caused mass chaos. I fear this investigation will drag on, and I won't be able to enjoy any of the festivities. 
All I want is some cotton candy. Not in life, but now. Sounds like you need a break, officer. I've heard there have been very few leads as of yet. A task force has been formed, but no one knows who's in charge of what or what's in charge of who. Well, if we find anything useful, we'll be sure to inform the police. That would be great. The sooner I can kick back with a bag of nuts, the better. Get you some nuts, sir. Uh, zoom. Where did that child go off to now? I look away for one second. Welcome back. Well, thank you. Mommy! That's a lot of nuts. What's up, JD? Cookie, didn't I tell you to stay close? I was watching a clown and you were gone when I turned around. These folks helped me find you again. A gentleman never neglects those in need. Thank you so much, sir. I do apologize. Yeah, thanks, mister. And thanks, Luke. Thanks, Luke. So cute. Cookie seems to be good at getting herself lost. She may grow up to be quite the adventurer. She didn't thank me. Fuck. When I was her age, I got lost once, and it was so scary. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, I just got lost looking at teddy bears. My father found me pretty quickly. I guess it's not so scary when I say it out loud. Now that we've done our good deed for the day, let's head to the doors and speak with Henry. Let's go perform a bad deed. Stray child savvy. Huh? Where? Huh? This fucking guy. Robots! You want him? Guys got him. The best toy robots in town right here, folks. Robots, trucks, teddy bears. Guys got him. Whoa! Look at all the teddy bears. Hello, little lady. Where's your mother? Mother has gotten herself lost again. I've been looking for her for ages. But now my feet hurt, so I'm just gonna hang out here with you. I see. Well, Guy's here to help you. Shall we go find your mother? Mother said to never go anywhere with the stranger. And even if I know your name, you're still a stranger, pal. Yes, of course. I, that's very smart, young lady. Perhaps you can help me run my shop till your mother arrives? Sure, she didn't say anything about child labor. I'm going- I'm good at playing Toy Store. Watch this. Teddy bears for sale. Cute teddy bears, soft teddy bears, fuzzy wuzzy teddy bears. Yeah, you do have a knack for this. How about showing off these robots? I named him Knack. You should be pointing out your variety of teddy bears. Teddy bears for sale, blue ones, brown ones, we got pink ones. Yes, the bears are nice. What about the other toys? I have a surplus of a few things, especially the robots. Forget the robots, guy. People want bears. Trust me. Teddy bears for sale, fluffy teddy bears with silky ears. Yeah, yes, well, what a charming little girl you are. Where'd you say you last saw your mother? There you are, Cookie. Didn't I tell you not to go off on your own? Not sure, did you? I'm so sorry, sir. Has my daughter been bothering you? Oh, not at all. She's a delightful young girl. Perhaps you could take her now? Hey, what about my wages? You have to pay me for the work I did for you. Yes, delightful indeed. Here you are. A nice robot for your work. Enjoy. Oh my, you're too generous, sir. Oh no, it's the least I can do, really. Cookie, say thank you to the gentleman. Cookie? How about I just take a teddy bear instead? Thanks so much, guy. Such a spirited little one. She thinks she knows so much, ha! Huh? What does the little girl know about running a shop? Teddy bears, teddy bears, you want them guys got best teddy bears time right here, folks, get your teddy bears. Cute. All right, let's go bang down Angela's door. La door. It did, 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 didn't talk to you. Yeah! You know there's a puzzle rattling around in there. I can describe the masked gentleman in two words. Super cool. I just have to see what he looks like under that mask. I drove all the way across the desert just to see him perform. I bet he's super cute, super gorgeous. I bet he's as mouth-watering as a hunk of cake. This is the puzzle. How hot is he? Oh, it's cake. Sure, yeah, all right. Big cake, little cake. A, B, and C each ate one of three differently sliced, sized slices of strawberry cake. C ate the medium slice. B had the large one. 
A had the large slice, I had the medium one. A and B have made one statement that is true and one that is false. Can you work out who ate which slice? Move the slices onto the plates to answer. Okay. They both said a, a truth and a fib. So, uh, C ate the medium slice, B had the large one. So let's say C had the medium and B had the little one. A had the large slice and I had the medium one. Done. Next question. Thank you. All in the day's work. Was it three? Correct. Correct! A must have wanted to cover for greed, but why did B lie? Good question. New shop bio. Absolute unbelievable genius. I thought you'd be stumped for sure. Faux show. Faux show. Maddie, aren't you scared of the masked gentleman after what he did yesterday? You kidding? I would adore a stone statue of myself. It might be tough to ship myself back to the city, but so what? Next time the masked gentleman appears, I want a front row seat. It's a hit. Best show of the season. You do know it's not really a show, right? Oh, you are so right. What am I thinking? Show? Bah! The masked gentleman is a way of life. Well, the same could be said for losing your life savings in the casinos here. Have you seen the masked gentleman in the casinos? Is that what you're saying? Which one? Tell me. Tell me. Go goodbye. Goodbye. Monteor is so gaudy. I love it. It's like classical, positronic, and nouveau modern. You forgot chic. Hey, guy. Hey, boom. All about, all about you. Guys, toys are the best in town. You want it, guys. Got it. I got bears. I got trucks. I got fuzzy things. Stuffed animals. Take a moment. Give them a squeeze. Hello, guy. I hope business is well. Oh, yes, of course. You're the one with the goddess Emmy, are you not? Uh, well, Emmy is my assistant, yes. I just wanted to tell you that we are taking good care of the robot you gave us. Good. I can't afford to give you another toy. How about a puzzle instead? Puzzles on the house. Ah, look, look, at, look at them all. Chain circle. Look at them. This toy chain is made up of many smaller links. When one of the links is removed, the chain forms one complete ring. Circle the letter of the link that should be removed. Uh, ooh, uh, uh, H. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. A fine puzzle for a gentleman. H. Correct, it's H. G and K should have three links connected to them, and both are connected to H, removing that one is the key. I just looked at one that was just, like, they're all connected too closely to each other. Key point! Ha! Knew you'd like that one. I got goodies for people of all ages. I'm cracked. That was a fine puzzle, thank you. H is the three of letters. Professor, did you notice Mr. Guy seems to talk to us differently than he talks to Emmy? I certainly did, Luke. Let's not mention that to Emmy, shall we? We don't want to embarrass her. Or pay more attention to Guy than necessary. Alright. <laughs> the Ladora State. Good day. Oh. Oh shit. Did Lucas sniff out a hidden object? Oh my god, he did. What a talented little ra You see, the real Luke doesn't do that. God, Luke. I'm sorry, Professor. I don't have a sniffy little nose. But if you did, Luke, we wouldn't need Lucas. You could fit five of your officers here, Professor. Eh, uh, Angela. Herschel, nice to see you again. I'm sorry, but Henry had to run out rather suddenly. He did say I can show you his study. Please look as long as you'd like. Thank you, Angela. I trust everything's okay. Oh, yes, Henry just had some business in town. Please, this way. Of course. Thank you, Angela. It's a shame we missed Henry again. Yes, he's been very busy lately. Keeping order in town takes up much of his time. He's been trying to calm our local business owners. I've barely seen him since the masked gentleman appeared. 
into the study. Wow. It's a lot of hard to reach books. Yeah, he's never read them. They're for looking fancy. Oh my, what a beautiful study. It's tidier than a hospital in here. Yes, cleaning is Henry's hobby. I see how fascinating. He's an interesting man. Angela, this home is quite large. Is it just you and Henry here? We also have the servants, but Henry does most of the work. When he's anxious, well, he likes to be productive. He must be anxious often. Sounds as if he built Monte Or from nothing. Yes, Henry's quite amazing in that way. He's always been very focused like that. Well, at least ever since Randall... Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Please investigate the study for as long as you like. I'll try to- I, I'll try to stay out of your way. I must investigate. The desktop looks untouched. Henry used to sit at that desk studying the mask for hours, but no longer. So Henry did most of his work in here. Yes, he was always poring over that mask. That awful mask. I wish Randall never found that stupid mask all those years ago. That thing tore us all apart. All of us. But now it seems the mask has brought you and me together again. How ironic. It's more of a coincidence than irony, but fair play. It does seem to be a mask that can bring both immense joy and immense sorrow. That mask has served as the agent for both Randall's misfortune and Henry's success. Is it true that Monteor wouldn't even exist today had Henry never found the mask and the treasure? Jaro. Yes, through his expeditions, he created this town out of nothing. Hence the name, the City of Miracles. Henry used some of his fortune to open a small hotel in the middle of nowhere called the Reunion Inn. The entire thing was very odd from the start. Visitors began flocking to that hotel. It became immensely popular. His little hotel project became his first success out here. The rest is history. From there, Monteor flourished into what it is today. It's hard to believe the town started from one little hotel 18 years ago. Henry credits Monteor's existence to the Mask of Chaos. He believes that people are, for one reason or another, drawn to it. Like stand users. That mask has changed so many lives in so many ways. Mrs. Lador, does the Mask of Chaos really have magical powers? Whoever stole it must think so. Yes, I'm very interested in the motives of whoever stole the mask. I have a feeling everything will fall into place once we find the perpetrator. Uncovering the truth behind these dark miracles lies in discovering the identity of the masked gentleman. That was not an answer, ma'am. Of all the paintings, I prefer this one. The contrast of the greenery with the blue sky is striking, isn't it? I don't know how to say it, but it's very nice. It looks delicious, Professor. Whoa! Whoa! Almost every single one of these books is in my area of interest. Baroque architecture? I don't think I could get my head around it. I can't even reach more my tiptoes. If it's Baroque architecture, why don't they fix it, Professor? Oops, I think I left fingerprints and jam. Why are your hands covered in jam, Luke? They're delicious. Why are coffee tables always so low? In this room, you can call it a tea table. Professor! You're too broke to get jam on the Baroque. Pots are crafted with the intention of being viewed at every angle. I can see my reflection in this one. I bet these cost a small fortune. Oh. That plate must have cost a fortune. Maybe even a five chin. Don't touch it, Emmy, you might break it. A broken plate would be a sad thing indeed, such as the case in this puzzle. The puzzle of, oh God, Luke, run. The cat's trophy. Drat. This pesky feline has knocked three plates off the dresser. The cat made off with one of the pieces. Can you tell which plate it's from? A, B, or C? Uh, 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 um, uh, so, so that, that one's, that one's accounted for, is, is, this one, as is, this one. What about, um, that, that one? See that one? Also this one? And, um, 
Wouldn't you know it? This, this looks like, yeah. This one. What about these triangulars? Uh, yep. One of the triangles is missing. Good old three. Please C is for cat. Me. Leave it to me, Professor. Correct! Oh my god, look at that cat. It's C. Get after that cat! <laughs> Get back here! You have a broken plate in your mouth, sir! Sir, that is dangerous. Sharp. Get him! What a very sassy cat. Why does the cat require pottery? I don't know. Randall's cat that we killed via slingshot! Oh yeah! Did you think I'd break it, Professor? I'm not that clumsy, you know. I thought nothing of the sort. But let's not take any chances. All right. If you're Baroque, are you out of money? He he hoo hoo. He hoo he hoo. Yay. Huh? Was the mask locked up in a safe? No, it was hanging on the wall here. You had a priceless ancient artifact just hanging on your wall out in the open? And why not? This is our home. Henry thought displaying the mask would bring good luck to Mont d'Or. Where were you and Henry when the mask was stolen? I'm pretty certain we were both home, but we have no idea when it happened exactly. There is no sign of forced entry. I do know that the masked gentleman began terrorizing Mont d'Or immediately after we realized that the mask was gone. Do you have any idea why someone would want to harm the town? An unlucky gambler? A disgruntled property owner? Someone with a personal grudge? Do you think this could be about Moni? Perhaps someone's trying to disrupt all of the businesses in town. Money makes people do crazy things. I don't get what all the fuss is. Money's just paper with old people on it. It doesn't even taste good. Usually. Angela, has anyone else been in here besides you or Henry? Henry doesn't even allow our servants in here, but he will entertain the occasional visitor in here. Rather than using the parlor? Mainly for very important guests. So no one is ever in this room alone without Henry being here as well, correct? Yes, but we haven't had many guests lately. We keep the doors locked at all times, so whoever stole the mask must have come in through the window. You'd have to be pretty nimble to fit through the window. That would definitely fit the masked gentleman's style. The thief must have been the masked gentleman. But then again... Herschel, do you have a theory on who could have done such a thing? The masked gentleman is most likely someone very familiar with this town. He could be an ordinary citizen hiding behind an ordinary existence. One of our own residents? Angela, who here in town would benefit from the turmoil of recent events? Who? Why, I can't imagine that anyone would benefit from this madness. Someone with a grudge against Henry, or anyone you've had trouble with in the past. The only person I can think of with a grudge against Henry is Dalston. Dalston, eh? Sounds sus to me. Alphonse Dalston? Do you know this CAD, Professor? Language, Luke. Yes, Herschel, the same. Dalston was an acquaintance of ours back in Stansbury. Between the two of them, Dalston and Henry own most of the casinos in town. They've been business rivals for years. I believe they also had quarrels over the property lines of some of Henry's hotels. I wouldn't be surprised if Dalston set out to sabotage Henry. You know Dalston, Herschel. Yes, but I don't want to jump to any conclusions just yet. Also, Dalston has been receiving advance warnings from the masked gentleman. Henry has received these warnings as well, but no one else. I don't want to cast suspicion, but Dalston seems to have some sort of connection with the masked gentleman. I find that very sus, Mrs. Lador. That is rather odd. I think it definitely warrants some investigation. Let's go talk to him right now, Professor. If you want to talk to Dalston, his house is just west of your hotel. Thank you, madam. To the Dalston estate. We leave at once. We ride at dawn. Quickly to the people horses. Everyone's from the same small town, huh? Small world. Psst, how's it going? Quite well, thank you. How are you? Eh, just judging things. Don't buy the glitzy sheen of this town. There's a dirty power struggle going on beneath the surface. Do tell. 
Do listen. Nothing free in the world except wishes, though. How about you solve this puzzle? And we'll see what happens. A little, little puzzle for a little, little intel. Hmm. Guess stars. The bartender places five bottle caps on the bar with the star logos facing up. She closes her eyes and starts turning caps over at random, counting every turn. Once she reaches 25, she suddenly slams her hand onto the bar, covers up one of the caps, and asks you, is the logo on this cap facing up or down? With the situation shown in the diagram above, can you answer a question? It's an odd number. Right. Um, they all start with star logos facing up. So it's one, two, three. So every odd is face down. Don't slam a bottle cap while it's face. Yeah, it sounds painful. So it would take. Wait. She turns them over at random. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. B. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Because it's odd, because it's two that are up. was a challenge, to be sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet. My NVIDIA drivers have an update available. The cap is facing down. If you flip an odd number of times, the number of caps facing up will be even, and vice versa. Yeah. The answer is yes. You can answer her question. Her answer is, ow. My hand. As promised, I'll spill the beans. But you gotta promise to pick them up. The beans. Go get them! See, the Lodors built this town a while ago using money Mr. Lador found while he was treasure hunting. Then you got Dalston, who built a bunch of hotels over the years and made some nice coin here in town. These recent miracles sure seem to be jeopardizing all of Mr. Lador's work. Catch my drift and my beans. Wink, wink. If the Lador holdings fall apart or lose their value, Dalston stands to benefit. Is that what you're getting at? Hey, look. I'm no conspiracy theorist, but I think there's a conspiracy here that I'm theorizing. Find who benefits from this chaos. In other words, you think Alphonse Dalston is the masked gentleman. I'm not sure Alphonse Dalston could fit into the masked gentleman's pants, but it can't hurt to talk to him. I was already on my way to talk to him. You provided me nothing of value. Good day, sir. Oh, I missed the coin here. Thank you, Luke's. Mm. In the boxes. Is someone moving? What are you doing in the house? Eh. Oh! Oh! For sure, red herring. It's way too early in the game. I mean, they're still introducing our, our cast of characters, right? But, yeah, way too early to be like, here's the villain. I don't remember. I remember some of the bigger plot beats. I don't remember the specifics, though. But it would be strange this early on to be like, oh, by the way, here's the villain. He has all the motive and everything makes sense. When will I learn? Never bet on black. Never bet on black. Looks like jam and haggis sandwiches for me all week again. Jam and haggis. Hey, now. Pardon me, sir. We are seeking information on the masked gentleman. Might we speak with you for a moment? A brown bunny and a red herring. Buddy, if I knew anything about the masked gentleman, I'd be down at the police station collecting my reward money. But if I were to wager a guess, I'd bet that he's some poor sap who's down on his luck. I don't think he's such a bad guy. No, oh, really? Why do you say that? Picture this! The poor guy gets robbed blind in the casino, loses everything, because it's all fixed. What's he supposed to do? Are we both speaking of the same masked gentleman here? Wait a second, do you really think some guy would start terrorizing an entire city just because he lost a few bets? Look, lady, it's a theory, okay? I didn't say it was a good one. It's all crazy. Does it make sense that horses are... I just forget it. What is this about horses? If you think I'm gonna give you info for free, you got another thing coming, pal. Cough up some brain power. Solve this riddle. The riddle is, can you buy me some chips to... Buy me back into the game. If you do that, that, then you solve the riddle. This roulette wheel isn't behaving as it should. Instead of stopping at random, the ball seems to land on numbers according to some unknown rule. On successive spins, it lands on 10, 9, 8, 5, then 3. Where will the ball land next? Uh, 
Uh. Okay. Um. Uh, ten, nine, eight, five, then three. So it's ten, nine, then eight, then five, and then trace. Is that one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, seven? Okay, no. Hmm. Hmm. Three. It just landed on three. So maybe it's three. Wait, ten on eight, five, three. Ten, nine, eight, five. That's what I did. No, that's what I did. It's not to use standards. It's not up to any standards. I was thinking maybe it's going around a certain number of spaces clockwise or counterclockwise, or it's like a certain number of red than black. But that doesn't seem to be it. Um, what else could it be? I hate that the font they picked makes the nine and the six look really goofy. Like that nine is just a scribble. Eight six seven five three zero nine 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 nine. Just I, I just just picture it just eight six seven five three zero nine 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 nine. Just sucks. Thanks, Chef. How you doing? I like the seven. The seven is very goofy looking. Have Manny activate the magnet. Manny. Okay, what else? If it's not two and then three and then four. I mean, here's the thing, it goes, it goes two, three, four clockwise, and then five counterclockwise. But I have no reason to assume that that's the pattern, because it makes an exception in the last step. If that's the case, then it'll land on one next, if it resets back to going two clockwise. Or is it going, like, six counterclockwise after that point? Across the mill? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I have five minutes to help. Flip. Ten, nine, eight, five, three. Ten, nine, eight, five, three. I'm gonna guess one. And if that's right, I'm mad. Just if it's wrong, then fair. Solving here. Okay. A tough nut to crack. Crack that nut, Layton. Ten, nine, eight, five, three. Okay, let's burn some hint coins, because I don't I don't know. The rule is only possible on a spinning wheel. What could it be? On a spinning is it clockwise, counterclockwise? Take a look at the numbers on the wheel in order. Do you notice anything strange? Is there one missing? Uh, 12? Okay, what is- okay, what does that have to do with anything? Why- Why is 12 missing, and it's 13 instead? What would- what would that possibly have to do? That has nothing to do with the solution as far as I can tell. Yeah, all the numbers from 14 to infinity. But it's not like hands on a clock. 12 mage stick. The ball ends with 10, 9, 8, and 5. Starting on 10, how many spaces are there around the wheel until you reach the 9? Then 9 to 8, then from 8 to 5. Yes. I very quickly determined that it goes 2, 3, 4. But then, 5 to 3 is broken. It breaks the rule. Is that... So I was on the right track. Okay. Now I still don't know. I still don't know. Why does it go... I don't know. Super hint. Fuck you. Did you count the spaces from 10 to 9? If you need a bit more help, make sure you're counting counterclockwise. And everything should become clear. W wait, wait, wait. 
count all of them counterclockwise? What does 12 have to do with that? <laughs> so if it's counterclockwise, what do we got? Uh, starting here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Do you move the number of spaces it says counterclockwise? And then from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to 8. Oh my god. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. How about this? That's pretty good. Puzzles are made. To 12 would land on 12. Oh! And if it lands on 12, it would get stuck in a loop forever. So that is kind of a hint. But not a good one. It's, it, it's supposed to make you think, why is 12 missing? But that means you need to be on that track of thinking about it going... I just thought it was a completely, like, independent thing of, like, it goes one, two. That's why they set it up so it breaks the rule. Where if you go clockwise, it doesn't. So that's good. I had no point, though, that I think, what if I go counterclockwise? If I did, though, maybe I would have realized very quickly, like, oh, it's ten. From there. And then, yeah. Well, anyway. Number twelve is missing. If twelve is there, land at twelve, make the next number twelve and the next and the next. Yep. Okay, that was, that was, that was a pretty good puzzle. This is a pretty good puzzle. First, I lose my entire paycheck. Now I gotta turn over my only valuable info about those stupid miracles. I mean, I'm sure someone who played this was like, why is 12 missing? And then use that to figure it out. But by itself, it's not a great hint. But it is, that would be a good first hint of like, we're not giving you anything else. Just why is 12 missing? Because that is tied into the answer in a weird way. But, it's fine. Uh, how is this linked to the masked gentleman? Well, all I heard is that if you had a horse to sell around the time he first appeared, you could make some serious dough. That's all I know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go scrounge around for loose change under some park benches. Hit number one is always look at the puzzle. Every single time. You're never gonna get away with just spending one hint coin. It's always like... Look again. It's like, yeah, I know, it's a puzzle. Why would he think that information was valuable? Was he betting on horse races as well? Perhaps there's something to do with the incident in which the masked gentleman turned people into horses. Something's fishy here. Or horsey. Horsey prof- I want to ride a horse, professor! Dalston's estate should be weast of here. There you go. Universal! Thank you for the 190 bits. A very specific amount. Thank you very much. I will get caught up on alerts shortly. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Hint one. Try again, you idiot. <laughs> be less bad at puzzles. This must be the circus tent that Juggles the Clown was referring to. Can we go inside, please? Remember, Luke, we're not here to have fun. We're here looking for clues that will lead us to the masked gentleman. Remember... We're here to deprive you from having a childhood. All work and no play. Yes, of course. It finally feels a bit like the desert out here. Yes, you can see the characteristic ruins of this region out here. Everything out here is quite breathtaking. This area was once riddled with such ruins. Riddle, riddle, riddle reminds me of a puzzle. L a riddle. Although Mont d'Or is a new city built in the latest architectural fashion, one can find traces here and there of an ancient design. Where do these come from and what do they mean? This area of ruins is known to be the site of various ancient ruins. Mont d'Or must also have its share of relics. This is what the Leighton sounds like now. I'm interested in seeing both the ruins and the circus very soon, Luke. But for now, the Dalston residence is just over that way. Hmm... Where did they come from? Where did they go, Professor? What a charming little circus tent. I wonder if the clowns we saw earlier are here. Ugh, the clowns. I love the circus. The clowns, not so much. Come on down to the Shishiri. Find a circus in the tri-state area. 
Is this a pillar of rock or a palm tree? The ruins of some kind of ancient structure? Looks to be Roman. Cousin! Uh, oh. uh, no. Don't, in don't make eye contact with the clown. Would you prefer I say Barry is streaming is streaming or does Barry is streaming suffice? Just say Barry is streaming. You can say whatever you want to say. You could just go, ah. Don't stare at them. Oi! You made eye contact with me. Now you have to listen to me talk. Checked out the circus yet? You never seem to like anything of it. Anything like it. Unless you've seen clowns before or tigers. Look at this! I'm flying! You seen a flying boy before? See, we do magic here burn that mashed hack. Do you think the recent events are the result of some sort of magic trick? All I know is I've never seen a miracle in my life, but I've seen plenty of magic. There might be more to it than that. The world is full of mysterious things. Like swamp gas, time travel. I live! I am live! Some old man at the hotel I'm staying at said the masked gentleman's miracles were the real deal. But that's nonsense. You just gotta look for the patterns in the magic. Is this puzzle just to figure out how the masked gentleman does his feats? <laughs> just a random optional puzzle. It's like, here's how he does it. Pattern pending. A school teacher called a bright pupil to, his, to the front of the class and asked him this. Do you see these five patterns? Each one is made of two paper L shapes. None are rotations or mirrored versions of any other, yet they all have something in common. Using these two L shapes, can you make another pattern that shares the common feature of the other five? Move and rotate the pieces to form a sixth pattern that shares the common feature. So there's this. And there's... Um... There's, there's this, this one. Okay. And... What? I believe I have this one. Huh? An excellent puzzle. I was just moving them around. I was in the process of trying to recreate the other ones. I mean, uh, that was intentional, and I did it, and I'm a genius. They're all fun examples of an unfolded cube. Of course. <laughs> Naturally, of course. That, I knew it. I knew it. Chat was like, it's not a cube. And I was like, listen. Chat, it's a cube. Has to be. Every puzzle can be solved, and so can every magic trick. I mean, if the masked gentleman really did have magical powers, then what's the point of even trying to stop him? Every puzzle may have a solution, but some mysteries are beyond explanation. So there's no unsolvable puzzles, but they're unexplained mysteries? I don't buy it. You raise an interesting point, my boy. Great. Don't move. This puppy should learn some manners. It's vision's based on movement. Don't kick the dog, please, Emmy. Oh, she's gonna kick the dog. Leave that young lady alone. Get back here, now! Hmm. <laughs> Herschel Layton, haven't seen you in ages. What are you doing here? Hello, Dalston, it has been some time. Don't tell me you moved here too. No, actually, I'm here on business. You left Sandsbury for a successful business career, just as you had planned, I see. Which face, Cody? He's got the Wario Nines. Of course, that bird couldn't hold me. Besides, Stansbury turned into a ghost town after that mess with the Ascot family. And tourists don't visit ghost towns. Which means ghost hotels don't make any ghost money. Or real money, either. Can Viz confirm? Do ghost hotels make ghost money? Yes, I've heard you've become quite the entrepreneur. I recall that your dream was always to own your own hotels. Yeah, and I recall you having more hair. Enough small talk, Leighton. What kind of business are you here on? Uh, yeah. Confirmed. I'm investigating the recent events surrounding the masked gentleman. It's gonna make Alphonse move out. 
As a current guest in a ghost hotel, yes, they do, but it's quite cold. Uh -huh. Bald confirmed. Who put you up to this? Angela, let me guess. You're here to see if I seem sus at all, right? Rubbish. What do I have to gain from that maniac terrorizing the town? This chaos is bad for business. Everyone's business. Now, he's not wrong. Well, there are rumors of a power struggle taking place in Mont d'Or. If one wanted to hurt an opponent, one might be willing to make a sacrifice or two, no? Hypothetically speaking, why does the masked gentleman send advance warning of his actions to both you and Henry? Surely many other business owners in town would find such information useful? It certainly seems that there's some sort of connection between the two of you and the masked gentleman, Dalston. Har har har! Naive as ever, Leighton. If anyone's connected to that masked creep, it's Angela! I beg your pardon. Dig. Is Lane an actual PI or law enforcement? No, he's just a professor. He sometimes works with law enforcement, but he's just a smart dude. Look, Layton, this is real life, not chess. I'm not interested in a sacrifice or two. The guy on the bomb screen's talking? Oh, he is. He's mop mopping like a fish. I don't like it. Yeah, he's pop bopping. Is he even a professor? He is a real professor. So they say. He needs to breathe. As you and you know perfectly well that Angela blamed Henry for Randall's untimely end. Henry encouraged that last expedition. So now, years later, Angela and Henry are married. You know the saying, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Angela holding a grudge against Henry? After all these years come now, Dalston, that seems highly unlikely. About as unlikely as me sacrificing anything I worked for. First off, Angela would never show Henry how much she resents him. Angela hid her resentment when she buried Randall, and she's been plotting a revenge ever since. Don't fall for her nice girl act. Damn! Angela never even let you forgive yourself for Randall's death. She drove you straight out of Stansbury. Come on, Layton. I wouldn't say that. That's fine, because I would. Open your eyes, Layton. Henry loved Angela, and he couldn't stand seeing her with Randall. So he sent Randall on that expedition into those ruins, knowing how dangerous it was. That's ridiculous, Dalston, and rather offensive, I might add. Oh, is it? Then how come Henry kept the secret code of the Norwell Wall to himself? I'll tell you why, so he could get the treasure. The treasure that should have been Randall's. Angela wasn't gonna let him get away with that. This whole masked gentleman fiasco is all her doing. With one stroke, Angela can turn, can ruin Henry, get the treasure, and exact her revenge. Genius. That's quite the tale, Dalston. But without proof, that's all it is. A tale. I hope I'm there when you finally realize the truth, Leighton. I hear you got a real fancy point. You're being played like a cheap violin. This ain't no city of miracles, Leighton. It's a city of betrayals. A city of betrayals? But there are so many fun things to do. See, Leighton? You're seeing this whole thing through the eyes of a child. A small, stupid child. What's wrong with that? It's all right, Luke. Professor, I think we're done speaking with this man. I don't want to hear his nonsense anymore. Oh ho! This boy is some spirit. You've got a future ahead of you, kid. Maybe you all should pay a visit to the mayor. No, oh, really? And why is that? Mayor Bilson put together a special task force to investigate the masked gentleman. If you want the truth, I got no problem saying that maybe they could help you, or vice versa, because I got nothing to hide. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Dalston may have a point here, Professor. Yes, then it seems a visit to the mayor might be in order. <laughs> I wish to write another letter for you. Who is this Muppet-ass man? Having himself a letter wiggle. This is a mail for Mr. Dalston. Brimlin screamed from Bry. There are two, actually. One for you and the other for uh, uh, Mr. Herschel Layton. It's from a, a Masahiro Sakurai, sir. For me? Ba -da -ba -da 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 
Uh, greetings from the masked gentleman. I hope you enjoyed last night's festivities. I know I did. It was so refreshing. You see, people who are made of stone cannot tell lies. In fact, they cannot do much of anything. They can only stand there, cold and unfeeling. To rob people of their ability to tell lies is quite miraculous, don't you think? What turn them into horses do? Almost as miraculous as my follow-up tonight will be. I will be performing in the Gallery Plaza. I promise it will be an uplifting experience you won't want to miss. I hope to see you there. Is murder a miracle? The most incredible miracle. Ah, a warning from the masked gentleman. While I stood before you, no less. How did anyone know we were here? Professor, I think we're being watched. Uh, yeah, no duh. I believe you're right, Emmy. Look, that plaza's gonna be teeming with tourists tonight. Someone may get hurt. We still have time before sundown. We need to inform the mayor of this. Shall we be off, Professor? Let's go. Let's be honest, Angela executing an extremely convoluted revenge plot eight years after the fact that involves her marrying the culprit for no reason would be peak latent plot. There's no absolute nonsense. Elaborate, yes. But without that step of what the fuck, it's not really a latent plot yet, so there is more to be seen. The mayor should be down at City Hall. It's just past the Lador mansion. He's probably meeting with his task force as we speak. I know he's got some detectives coming in from London, too. Grosky? Hopefully you'll get there just in time to hear them falsely accuse me of being the masked gentleman. Har har. Maybe we will. Hmph. Come now, Luke. Let's head to City Hall. Thank you, Dalston. That was informative. I missed the timeout. Hoomst. Hoomst. Solve the puzzle of the timeout. Your time limit's 10 minutes. Thank you for letting me know. Good luck, Leighton, and tell that lady to quit harassing my guard dog. No one conducts funny business on my property. Not Charlie Chaplin, not Buster Keaton, and certainly not you, Leighton. Timely comedic actor references, Dalston. Living here must make Dalston feel really safe. What about Michael Keaton? The Keaton brothers, Buster and Michael. Looks like not even sand could get in there. It's like a fortress against the elements. <laughs> you all see these around London. There are some dishes made with cactus. I had an unfortunate accident with the cactus once. It wasn't pretty. The famous cacti of southern England. E E E E E Ouch! 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 Okay, Cactus, you win! For now! Let's go. Let's get out of here. I have nothing to say to that. And from here, City Hall must be down this way. One. Did Luke just punch a cactus? Uh, several times, yes. He fought a cactus and lost. Oh god, it's Juggles. I think this is it. Quite a marvelous building. Let's see if the mayor's task force is inside. Let's. First, I gotta tap the surroundings. E oh. Tree. Yeah. Yeah. As I thought, it's the Montdor City Hall. I expected more from the City of Miracles. Remember, Montdor is still relatively young. Remember, Luke, bureaucracy is always boring, even in the City of Miracles. 
Do you think Juggles is shaped like his clothes? Yes. Every latent character is shaped like their clothes. The task force briefing starts soon, <clears throat> but I think my partner is still investigating last night's crime scene. I've told him time and time again that gathering evidence is a waste of time. What evidence there, ha there was has been compromised by now. You don't think it's important to look for clues concerning the statue incident? At this point, crowds of people have been contaminating the scene. Plus, we're not very good at investigating in the first place. Oh. This know-it-all detective from London and the chief can't agree on anything, and that other burly detective is just a meathead. A meathead? What's a meathead? The chief's words, kid, not mine. The Luke is so young. So naive. Could this Layton be modded into Sonic Frontiers? God, I hope so. What am I, a clown doing down here at City Hall? Perhaps I should be voting on a proposal like the other clowns down here. But alas, alack, that is not my lot in life. I am resigned to entertain the masses with shouts and hypnotic gesticulations. Miracles, masks, solve the mystery. Stuff like that. You feeling entertained? Oddly enough, Juggles, I, I am. Although I could watch this all day, I would rather end this moment immediately. <laughs> The life of a clown is a tiring one. The life of a circus clown, even more so. The weight of the world smiles is upon my shoulders. Professor, I don't think I've ever seen a clown quite like this one. Nor I. But it seems that even a ph philosophical clown has a place in Monteor. Have a pleasant day, Juggles. Goodbye. Forever. The dialogue is solid. The localization team. It's quite good. I didn't think City Hall would be this big. Monteor continues to impress. It appears as if the entire police department is here. I hope that's not the case. They do have a police station outside of town. It looks like they're taking the recent events very seriously. Yes, it appears the masked gentleman is receiving the attention he craves. We didn't see many officers after the stone statue incident, so I think it's safe to say that the police aren't getting any advance warnings. I can understand if this villain has a grudge against the town, but targeting innocent people just isn't right. I agree, Luke. We need to get to the bottom of things as quickly as possible. The civil servants here look hard at work. I wonder how hard this job is. They have quite a bit to manage, I'm sure. <laughs> Maybe I can jot down something funny on one of these forms. I would strongly advise... Oh well, go ahead. Finally, something I can reach, but it's so boring! Oh, Luke. It's a very good interaction with Emmy and Layton. What's that? Free literature and tea? Don't mind if I do. It's refreshing to be treated to such excellent refreshments. But the tea's already gone cold. Oh my god, a lamp puzzle! The power cables for the lamps are connected in a rather peculiar way. Which one goes where, Professor? Ooh. Yes, please. Puzzle 40. Crossed connections. You have four cables plugged into four sockets, but they run through pipes. You have no idea which cable connects to which socket. You only know part of where B and C run through, shown above. The length of cable inside the pipe is six meters for each cable. Each section of pipe is one meter long. However, while the vertical pipes can hold as many cables as needed, horizontal pipes can only hold one. You can work out which cables connect to which socket. Uh... Yeah, sure. Uh... Uh... So... B... Is doing like, like this, down into here... Into there... And then, who the hell knows? Uh, and then, and then C... Is going up into here... Do I think it zigzags? Probably not. Why would it? It's going through here. Is that all I, that's all I know? Is that enough? I well, okay. Um, and then A is gonna maybe into here. And then uh, uh, D is is going. To here. Slow down. 
Oh, right, the length does matter. They only move through six segments. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So then C has to go. That was the detail I forgot. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe it's like that. Uh, buh. Is doing one, two, three, four, five, six straight across. And then do 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 D. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done. Okay, I was like, wait, this is impossible. You just have to add up at six. So, um A is going to three. Yet. Yeah. Uh B, 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 B to four. Do, 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 do. C to one, and D to two. I believe I have this one. Don't point at me, it's rude. An excellent puzzle. Well done! Whichever path the cables take within the pipes, the solution is the same. Yeah. Hey, Gam. Don't point, it's rude. Ah, oh, that's that, then. Still, quite odd. That... The floor is comprised of multiple crisscrossing meters of cable. Seems a bit inefficient. I sat on a coin, Professor! Beep. 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 God, I need- I need these hint coins. I needs them. You are here. Here is City Hall. Is the mayor in? We'd like to speak with him regarding the task force he has assembled to investigate the masked gentleman. Is this a better game? Better than what? The other lanes? He's, he's, he's got eyes for crimes. I'm sorry, but you'll need the mayor's approval to talk to the task force. To get the approval, you need to see the mayor. Which is what you just asked to do. I'll go see if he's available. It's different there. Wow, well, I'm excited to meet the mayor. Managing a town like Monteor must be a big responsibility. There are no Bailey. Maybe I'll be a mayor when I grow up. How does Mayor Luke Triton sound? Oh my. <laughs> that's that's it. Not <laughs> just Wow. Um Hello! Oh Mayor Rich Bilson, how you doing? A pleasure to see you again. Oh, actually I don't believe we've met. My name is Professor Herschel Leighton. I'm a friend of Angela Ladores. I'm Emmy Altava. I'm Luke Triton, a professor's apprentice. My colleagues and I are investigating the masked gentleman. We'd like your permission to discuss the case with your task force. Yeah, he got a dampy dumper on this man. Well, we could use some help. What? What is? I thought he had glasses at the bridge of his nose, but that's his mustache. <laughs> I, I, like, he was talking, and it was flopping around, and then he was, like, pushing it up, and I was like, wait. Are they glad? No. Ugh. Um, maybe it's his nose hair. Uh, we could use some help, but we have a lot of sensitive information going around. How many puzzles have you solved so far? I see you're eminently qualified. Welcome to the task force. To be perfectly frank, our investigation has been rather bumpy. Like my nose hairs. The detectives from London and our local chief of police aren't getting along at all. That is quite unfortunate. Oh, those are just his nostrils. I requested assistance from London. You know, I forgot the detectives' names, but they seem very capable. The task force strategy meeting is about to begin. I hope some progress will be made. Please join the meeting if you'd like. It sounds like the fighting has already begun. I would be grateful for anything you could do to defuse the situation. Detectives from London, I wonder. Just head to the briefing room back there. Thank you for your help, Mayor Bilson. I wonder. Detectives from London. They're probably new characters. Thereby enriching and expanding the world of Leighton. Oh shit, it's Grosky. Go 
Don't you sneak up on me like that! Who let a child in here? I'm no child. I'm Luke Triton, apprentice to Professor Layton. Ah, of course. Inspector Grosky. We should have known it was you. How did you get in here with all the competent police officers? Boom! Damn! Bow! Poop, 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 bow, 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 K.O. Emmy, how rude. If you're not careful, you might end up hurting my feelings. Guess I'll have to turn to my arrest record at Scotland Yard to cheer me up. <laughs> and how many of those arrests came with the professor's help? About half? <laughs> yeah, I suppose that sounds about right. Good to see you too, Emmy. I love Grosky. Professor Layton, I presume. Whoa! Detective Inspector Leonard Bloom, Ooh. senior detective at Scotland Yard. Ooh. Will you read me the case notes, Bloom? That's quite the title. Herschel Layton, how do you do? How do you do? Hello, Apricot. Apricot is a new son. And I need everyone to... inspect the son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does he have a name? He is my baby boy. He's a good little guy. Thank you. Excellent job. He. Scoopus in honor. Oh shit. Scoopus two. Scoopus the poopus. Fifteen out of ten. He's too pure for a name. It's just... oh, I forgot how ominous duck time is. Anonymous. Thank you. Appreciate it. Scoopus Toopus. Electric Boogaloopus. Wow, this must be a really big deal to dispatch two of Scotland Yard's finest. I guess so. I wonder how the local police feel about bringing in external help. How did all these people get into my briefing room? Who are these civilians? Where's my tea? Um... Just need a second to look at did, did is this correct? Did my DS get hacked and they replaced his model with a tiny face variant? This man is a thwomp. <laughs> I, I okay. Hi Sheffield. Where is my tea? He needs to sound like his face is being smushed. He needs to be like, Where is my tea? Who are the civilians? Chief Sheffield, may I introduce Professor Herschel Layton? Mm-hmm. Scotland Yard has solved many difficult cases with his assistance. Where is he? He's over here, to your right. All right. And then he can't turn his head, so he has to like do a little bounce shuffle. Turn a little bit. Up, 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 up. I assure you, any help you can offer will be invaluable to us. I thought Chief Jakes was the living spam man I was remembering. Oh, yeah, Chief Jakes was just like a big guy. But this is the spam man. <laughs> He's like four feet tall. Yeah. Yeah, they probably use him like a table. Right, Rest their tea on him. Just make sure he doesn't get in the way. Now, if we're done with the pleasantries, I'd like to get on with solving this case. Mm-hmm. Grosky runs rampant. Oh my god, look at him. What's what are the, what's that what are those guys in the back doing? They look like they are pretending to be busy by being like um behind He is a posing. Who's a posing? Oh the guy in the back. Yeah, he is just kinda. He's a mug of beer. Yeah, the guy in the back is just A-posing. What? No, I want... Let me inspect them! 
Damn it. They're beyond inspecting. What did Glosky do? Ah, Montdeor, where is this villain who's been terrorizing the city? You, stop in the name of the yard. Mears, how may I be of assistance, sir? Tell me everything you know. Uh, about what? Oh, playing dumb, eh? Let's cut to the chase. You tell me about the masked gentleman or I'm taking you both in. Uh, of course. Both? See, it appears that this man has stolen the Mask of Chaos and is using it to commit nefarious deeds. He calls these acts dark miracles, but I would sooner call them nightmares. Nightmares, you say? Well, we can't let it go unchecked, can we? Toying with innocent citizens like that. It may interest you to know that a special task force has been established over at City Hall. Is that so? Well, that's where I need to be. Time to serve this masked man a piping hot justice pie. Grosky out. Wait, sir. City Hall is the other way. Oh, well. Once he finds it, he should get along with our police force famously. Thank you, Werewolf. That is a very important update. <laughs> God, I wish he wasn't a cop. Uh, gee, Officer Grosky. Grosk, you. It's a standard model slide projector. The ones they use in theaters must be bigger than this. If I had to choose between projections or photos, no contest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I see officers peeking in through the blinds. I'd like some blinds like this for my room. Luke? You don't have a room. Hypothetically, prefer Luke, keep your expectations in check, my boy. Then you'll never be disappointed. Blinds are more for function than form, but I much prefer curtains. It's curtains for you. These desks are plain, but not without merit. After a few hours, your backside really starts to hurt on these. Somebody stuck chewing gum under the desk! That someone was me! Hee <laughs> hee! You're under arrest for crimes against the police force. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Oh, beach, professor! Uh, who we talk let's talk to the block. The block of spam. Let's get this meeting started before I turn gray. Too late. Yeah. I'm so popular today. Right. Start the briefing? Wait, no. If you have anything to take care of, get to it and tell me when you're ready. I can't believe they actually gave me the option to say no. The cactus started it! What in the meat wad can you cause this? Hi, Asta. Someone did say meat head earlier, which is close to meat wad. How you doing? How long is this meeting gonna last? Maybe we should all run in place if we're gonna be here a while. Fitness first, you know. You should try jogging your mind, Grosky. Damn, Amy, damn. My God. If you've finished your business, please let she Chief Sheffield know, and I'll get started. Okay. Let's go. Let's get this meeting started. Nobody better have to go to the loo. Let's not drag this out any longer than we need to. Grab a seat and sit in it. Luke, please. Luke, please. Luke, please. Bloom, the floor's all yours. <laughs> please, if you would give me your attention, then perhaps I could help you apprehend the masked gentleman. Since you have proven yourselves to be astoundingly ineffective thus far, we've brought in some extra brain power to expose the truth behind these dark miracles. <clears throat> Luke's got some crayons. <clears throat> this masked buffoon has made four appearances. We will now dissect each one carefully. Hmm. Whoa. 
We must demystify the masked gentleman's actions in order to fully analyze this case. Luke's gonna eat the crayons. They can't see over the head. We have a special guest here. His skills of deduction are unparalleled. Professor Layton, do you have anything to add? The answer could be three, but I'm not certain yet. Yes, we have been investigating the masked gentleman on our own. Where shall I begin? Let's begin with the most bizarre. Do you have any information on the horse incident? I've been able to gather very little on that incident specifically. However, I understand there were witnesses. Indeed, perhaps we should fill you in on what we know. Please do. Have you seen the statements we took from the witnesses at the scene? No, I'm not. I'm not a member of the police force. No, so you're not. Good day, sir. Please vacate the premises. No, but I'd like to if you don't mind. Yeah, sure, go nuts. Oh, puzz! Okay. I'll summarize the confirmed witness statements as they relate to the evidence recovered at the scene. I, is this Ace's attorney now? The event occurred at night. The carnival's parade was in full swing. As the parade approached a bend in the road near the merchant district, the masked gentleman appeared. I too am very interested in this horse magic. I, <laughs> I assume there was a large crowd. Yes, as was expected, no doubt. A flash of light appeared in the sky, and the masked gentleman was seen on the ledge of a building. Oh! According to reports, the light then grew in intensity to the point of temporarily blinding the onlookers. Oh! When the light subsided, it appeared that some of the onlookers had been transformed into very dapper horses. Is that Luke's hat? Only a few personal effects were left behind. The bodies of the tourists could not be found. Inspector Broom, do you have a theory as to what happened that night? I do. Please allow me to confirm a couple of items before we continue. The parade here always happens at the same time, correct? Yes, it starts at 8 o'clock p.m. Were you able to confirm the identities of the tourists who were transformed? No. Oddly enough, the tourist belonging con belongings contained no forms of identification. God damn it, dice. Boo. Boo. Let's get this meeting started before I turn gray. Too late. Boo. Thank you. No ID. Thank you, Detective Bloom. Looking at the information on hand, I believe the truth is clear. The masked gentleman obviously tricked witnesses into believing people had been turned into horses. There was one essential element to this manipulation of the crowd. The colors in the parade, the weather, the time of the parade. The time of the parade. Of course. It was already dark by the time the parade began. It's much easier to pull off a trick of the eyes at night. Except it's really bright in the city. Whatever. I agree, Leighton. It's much more likely that an audience will miss something under a night sky. Several witnesses reported that they saw the tourists actually transform. I, however, am not a believer in the dark equin arts. Um, why couldn't they see? There were no tourists. Hmm. Perhaps there were no tourists. <laughs> There's nothing to suggest that, Leighton. Oh. No, but what if no one was there? What if it didn't happen? They ran away. Hmm. Most of the witnesses would have instinctively run from the scene. This would be contrary to our statements. I know they, their eyes are closed. Of course! By the time the horses appeared, the onlookers would have closed their eyes. Exactly. Against the night sky, the human eye would be quite sensitive to the blinding light that was reported. The masked gentleman temporarily blinded those present to cover his actions. Horses were then immediately brought in as the so-called tourists left. But if that's true, there's still one thing left to explain. More than one thing, I would think. Where could the horses have been hidden? Down in the sewers. In the museum. Sewer horses? 
Show me sewer horses. The horses must have come out of the sewers. Those were not... These were not miniature ponies. They were too large to come out of the manholes. What about the horse holes? Those they could fit through. They were in the Museum of Horses. Bloom has no eyebrows or the tiniest of eyebrows. Oh, yeah. He does have brows. But not really eyebrows. Not fuzzy. The museum could easily accommodate dozens of horses. Do you not get punished for bad guesses? No, I'm just fucking around. Because it's fun. True, but it would have taken too long to bring out a group of horses through a single door. The nearby alleyways, what did it? Except how did they move the horses into position and the people away in like five seconds? The nearby alleyways. One could hide them down various alleys and quickly bring them out into the plaza. Well done, Leighton. I see your reputation is well earned, after many, many guesses. So if I may summarize, first it seems the location of this act was key. The plaza is surrounded by several dark alleys. Due to a bend in the road, the area isn't fully visible until you enter it. It'd be amazing if you could see horses in this still, like off to the side. Just before the event, everyone was absorbed in the parade. No one was paying any attention to the alleyways. A bright light suddenly appeared, blinding the crowd. At that moment, the horses were drawn from the alleys. To no fuss. Then people disguised as tourists left behind some prop belongings and hid somewhere possibly back in the alleys. This is very elaborate. I mean, it's the most logical explanation, but it's still stupidly elaborate. Once the witnesses had regained their sight, they saw horses everywhere. Exactly. But there's no evidence supporting the notion that the masked gentleman had accomplices planted in the crowd. That's true. But isn't it sus that the personal belongings found at the scene contain no forms of identification? Also, had they been tourists, their families would have undoubtedly filed missing person reports. Agreed. That was my conclusion as well. I solve your puzzle. What? So the masked gentleman's dark miracle was just some stupid parlor trick? Yes, Chief Sheffield. I'm sorry to inform you and your simpletons that it was not actually magic. Simply a well-executed illusion. Not a magician. An illusionist. I don't like that tone, Bloom. Take a break, folks. Bloom and I are gonna have a few words. Lay and find me when I'm done. You're blooming onion. Anybody hungry? You absolutely heard the horses coming. 100%. Even over the commotion of the crowd. Horse hooves are quite loud, especially on cobblestone. I want to get started on the next one. I'm interested to see what you think about the incident at the museum. What do you know so far? We have reports of people jumping out of some paintings at the museum and defacing property around town. Ridiculous! These individuals vandalized the area? Whoa! More than that, witnesses said these oddly dressed folks destroyed property, broke windows, nearly started a riot. Then they disappeared just as quickly as they appeared. Through the horse alleyways. Through the horse holes into the sewers. Did anyone actually see these people come out of the paintings? No. The museum was closed by then. So why do people think these individuals came out of the paintings? Well, apparently they were dressed just like people in some of the paintings that were displayed in the museum. So if you saw a woman running around dressed like the Mona Lisa, your first thought would not be, Wow, that's someone dressed like the Mona Lisa. Your thought would be, my god, she's real and stepped out of the painting. Down to the finest detail. When we checked the museum, we saw the paintings were empty. Okay, that's the detail you needed. Okay, there you go. What do you mean empty? I don't know how else to say it. All the people in the paintings were gone. Only the backgrounds were left. Interesting. The key here must lie in the paintings themselves. That's what I thought, but we've thrown our best men at these paintings and haven't found a thing. Allow me to ask a few questions. Were the paintings in question known to be cursed? 
Were these paintings cursed? What? Cursed? Yes, you've cracked it. They were all painted by a disgruntled wizard. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> we did Yay. Puzzle solved. Oh, why didn't we think of that before? You're right, Leighton. Shoot. Uh, were they especially valuable? Were these paintings especially valuable? No, they were all replicas. Portraits, mainly. I'm no art guy, but I wouldn't hang them up in my house, I can tell you that. Were they from a common source? Of course. Were the paintings from a common source? Yes, according to the museum's curator, they were all donated earlier that day. That day. That day. And hung up. And well known enough that people would recognize them in the streets? As being from the paintings? The majority of them were famous portraits that came from an anonymous donor. That can't be a coincidence. No, that definitely is not a coincidence. Whoever donated those paintings must be considered an accomplice to this. We've looked into it, but nobody's any information on the donor. We interrogated the entire museum staff and they all checked out clean and ignorant. A lot of time spent and nothing learned. We must understand how the illusion was created in order to find the truth. Were these paintings oddly shaped? Mayhaps like an egg? How were these paintings shaped? Some small, some large. They were, you know, painting shaped. They had frames and such, Leighton. Were they unusually framed? Were the frames unusual in any way? Were they thick enough to, say, hide a person? How thick would a painting frame need to be to hide a person? No, I considered that, but all the frames were of relatively standard size. Were they strangely packaged? Yeah, hams could hide a person. I, w I, w I wish I could go to a museum. Maybe someday this will come to pass. And I walk in it, and then there's like a, the size of a skyscraper wall. Just giant painting of hams. And then as you walk around the room, it's got like those, like, the lenticular ridges. And then it animates as you move around the room. And there's like people standing and admiring it from afar. Just, oh, man. It's, it's famous, famous work. Are they steamed, though? They should be. What do you think Hams is thinking? God, you think there's thoughts in there? I think all the thoughts transferred directly into Dumpy. It's the one-to-one -one correlation of none thoughts to Dumpy. Were the paintings oddly packaged? You must be Ames. The curator did say they're all vacuum sealed. He said the type of care was usually reserved for very rare items. I believe the airtight packaging is the key. The portraits were sealed when they arrived and the frames came in thick metal cases. The museum staff was surprised that replicas required such secure packaging. We didn't think much of it. If my theory is correct, the donation must have included specific display instructions. Did they specify when to display them? Of course. What time they need to be placed on display? Why, yes, actually they were. Your deductive skills are impressive, right? Hmm? You must be Ames. You must be Ames. You must be Ames. The crates arrived in the morning with instructions they'd be displayed exactly at noon. How did you know that? I don't have thoughts or hands. There's always an exception to the rule. Well, therein lies the trick. The illusion was created by... Hallucinogenic gas. Final answer. There was hallucinogenic gas inside the paintings which was released when the paintings were displayed. This is earlier in the timeline than the actual latent game w with the swamp gas. So he's already is considering that as a possibility. Anyway, every witness was hallucinating, eh? I guess all the windows in town must have just hallucinated themselves broken and the portraits imagined themselves blank then? I mean, yeah, that's... Again, enough swamp gas. Uh, well, you said the frames weren't big enough to hide the people, but then the frames were big enough to hide the people. Which one was swamp gas? I mean, technically, it's a spoiler. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say. People were hidden in the frames. The frames weren't thick enough to hold a human body. But what if they were? 
Vanishing paint? Of course. Tom! This is the chief of police. The portraits were treated with a special paint that evaporates when exposed to air. Does such a thing even exist? Have you ever noticed how sunlight can cause the colors in a painting to fade? In a similar way, it's possible to create chemically reactive paints that will turn transparent when exposed to air. Of course! So they were painted in a vacuum, and then sealed and shipped over, and displayed perfectly in time, and no one looked at them while they were slightly faded. It's a rock-solid case. You could just make anything in the painting look like it disappeared. It was delivered straight from space. The chemical process would have to run its course, so the timing must be precise. They turned the layer off. The seals were removed so that the paint turning transparent would coincide with the appearance of the vandals. The masked gentleman had these vandals dress up like the people in the portraits. Genius. Or insanity. Gene sanity. But Leighton, we have no evidence to back this theory of yours. Well, I doubt such paint would disappear completely without a trace. If you examine the paintings for chemical residue, I am sure you'll find outlines from where the paint turned transparent. Fascinating. Well, we'll see what we find. Good work, Leighton. If he, if, if the masked gentleman has enough accomplices to make people disappear and replace them with horses, surely he could just get people into the museum to hire blank frames. If it was done the same day, what's the difference? I, like, I just, I, I am struggling with this one. It doesn't matter, but it's just like, people hiding and bring out horses, I'm like, sure, fine, why not? But it's like, these weren't paintings that have been up for weeks and were well known. They brought the paintings in, hung them up at noon, and then at 8 p.m. then, or 8 p.m. was the horses. We don't know what time this was, but at some point later. How many people could have seen the paintings before they turned transparent? Not that many. <laughs> that's the part that's dumb. It's so much work for like eight people to be like, oh. <laughs> Look. I don't know. Let's take a break. I like a minute to think about this. How the horrible, everyone sounds obvious. Everyone in town's in on it. Everyone's in, in on it. I give the breaks around here. Bloom, all right, take five. Layton, let me know when you're ready to continue. Can I talk to the A-posing man in the back? He's still A-posing. Yeah, bear him. Chemical residue. Are we not gonna alert them? I'm sure we will at some point. Look at Layton's face. He doesn't have a thought in there. He has a Rubik's Cube half unsolved rotating in his head. He has nothing else in there. Classic! Very latent skew. I can't wait to hear you explain the next one. Me too. It's reassuring to have you here. I felt like I'm the only rational one in this town. Shepherd is as calm as he's going to get. Please let him know when you're ready to continue. Pull me back in. Yeah, Mother Grosker. Inspector Groski, the floor is yours. Right, Layton, let's take a look at another one of those dark miracles. Next one's a real doozy. If it's anything like the first two, it's not a miracle at all. Yes, yes, but none of the other ones involve people being engulfed in flames. That is true. Was there a miracle people burned to death? This all began last Sunday morning. I was invited to Smash Bros and got lost in PlayStation All-Stars Battle League, whatever the hell that game's name was. I got stuck in I got stuck in multiverses for a few weeks on my way to Smash Bros. Certain certain citizens received a threatening letter from our master you know who. It read as follows. It read as follows. If you value your life, come to the gallery plaza this afternoon at one o'clock. He also took out an ad in the paper. Dark Miracle Seeking Gallery Plaza. No more games. Meet me at 1 p.m. Quite a bold move, making an announcement like that. Yeah, but no one reads the paper. Yes, the plaza was packed with tourists and local citizens alike. We have a transcript of his little performance here. Colors weave into a spot. Welcome. 
good people of Monte Dior, I am the masked gentleman. Thirteen of you received a special invitation to be here. Let me introduce my seven guests. With the thirteen others. The masked gentleman didn't show himself, only his voice was heard in front of a tent that was set up there. Oh. Just before 1 p.m., part of the tent was dropped to reveal the 13 invitees. How far away was the stage from the audience? We don't have that exact information. Not far, but not close. So then, when the clock struck one, boom! Oh my god. Holy shit. All 13 people burst into flames. Apparently the flames burned brightly, peaked, and were immediately gone. The flames were gone? Yes, gone, no more. Burnt themselves out to ashes and blew away, probably. That's not a miracle, that's a public execution. <laughs> Didn't expect to see that phrase in a latent game. Uh, huh? But it wasn't! All 13 people were later found at home completely unharmed. I don't understand. No one does. All 13 were just as confused as we were. They remember going to the plaza, but nothing after that. Did you check under the stage? Maybe the 13 people hid under it during the fire. The stage was completely destroyed by the fire. Nothing left but ashes. I'm going crazy racking my brain here. It's like trying to bench press a car. I'm so, so close, but can't quite get it. Uh, the investigating officers present? Uh, yes, sir. I took the witness statements and interrogated all 13 individuals, sir. I have a few questions for you. All 13 people were handpicked by the gentleman. Were they... Magicians? Were all of them magicians? Uh, I... I don't... I don't know, sir. I didn't ask if they were magicians. Should I have? Yes. God, yes. Damn. Were they his accomplices? Did they admit to the crime? Could the 13 invitees have been the masked gentleman's... Is it a crime? Probably. Probably a crime. We suspected that at first. We ran a check on all of them. They were clean. Were they... Friends? Of course. Is blowing yourself a crime? It probably is. Were they friends by any chance? Not exactly. But now that you mention it... Yes. I thought maybe they worked out together or something. They all went to the same gym. Well, this is news to me. None of them looked like they could even find a gym. I didn't think it was that significant. I mean, that was their only connection. A coincidence of fitness, Leighton? I don't believe in coincidences. They're the witnesses see the masked gentleman. They went to Planet Fit. They went back to their home Planet Fitness. Did any of the witnesses see the masked gentleman in the plaza? We asked everyone, nobody saw him. They only heard his voice. Did they see... people get on the stage? Did anyone see the 13 people take the stage in the center of the plaza? I thought that was strange too. No one saw a tent go up or anyone enter it. Sounds like the tent was just there. So the invitees got on stage without being seen by anyone. In the middle of the day, no less. Very strange. I'm curious about one other thing. Fire away. <laughs> Fire. No, never mind. Too soon. Were their clothes, extravagant or gaudy, missing the same at home? Were they fancy clothes? Were they wearing flashy clothes? Not more than anyone else in the plaza. Were their clothes missing? Were they nude? Were the invitees nudists? Were their clothes gone when you spoke with them at home? If you're asking if they were naked, the answer is no. I would have mentioned that. Were their clothes the same? Of course! They only have one pair of clothing. Were the clothes they're wearing on stage different than when they're wearing at home when you question them? Huh? I don't know. Is there any way to find out? <coughs> I can take a look at the photos. Just give me one second. <coughs> what are you thinking, Leighton? We might have something here. That disgruntled wizard's one step ahead of us. Professor, sir, 
All their outfits were different. What? All 13 of them? That's, that's... I don't know what that means. We've got photos that some tourists took of the scene, and every one of those 13 were wearing different outfits at home. What could that possibly... Oh, I think I've got it. Yes, I've solved it. Don't hurt me, Inspector. What is it? The victim's clothes burned up on stage, and they all ran home naked to change. Grosky, you've done it. Well, I don't hear any other brilliant ideas. Stop smirking, Leighton. What is it? I wasn't smirking. My mouth was just thinking. I have resting thinking face. Inspector, I don't believe our 13 victims ever left their homes. Have you lost your mind, Leighton? Hundreds of people saw them on that stage. Allow me to explain. All 13 people received a letter, Mirsh. That's right. Was it just one letter? I believe there was a second letter that gave instructions to not leave home, possibly with a reward for doing so. This letter probably contained instructions to show only the first letter to the police, under threat of some horrible consequence. But they were in that plaza, on that stage! Actually, there is no evidence of that. I believe they were expertly crafted, highly combustible mannequins! This is, this is what I want, Kelly. This is what I want. It's art. Hams. Anyway, yeah, no one noticed that they were, um, mannequins. Combustible mannequins. This is why you give instructions to burn letters, exactly. How do you figure that based on what they were wearing? I opened up stream, what was that? Hey, welcome. Don't worry about it. Someone stole their clothes in advance. From the gym, of course. Some of them said they've been victims of theft recently, but I didn't think anything of it. Hang on. While the invitees were safely at home, the masked gentleman burned their likenesses as others watched in horror. The crowd was already convinced that he could perform miracles, so only took some rudimentary pyrotech pyrotechnics. That's preposterous. Leighton, I think your perfect straight ends here. Professor Layton, you're right. I found a second letter in the evidence bags. Great work, Professor. Wait, they didn't throw out the second letter? The letter that says don't tell them about this letter? Thank you for the hydrate, Alex. Yeah. yeah. The letter E. <laughs> I did it. Why do they have both letters? Absolutely brilliant, Professor Layton. We don't have much information on the statue incident, but when we get something, I'd like to speak with you. Gonna get my clothes stolen for an elaborate scheme. A highly impractical, impractical ruse. Just absolute shenanigans. Yeah, he's a cube. He's like a combination of, of anger from Inside Out and Super Meat Boy and a can of Spam. In a suit. Who knows? Now that we're on to some of the masked gentleman's methods, perhaps we can solve this one ourselves. I have faith in your team, detective. Well, at least now we know this villain is just a big phony. He's fresh in blood like the rest of us. And spam. He's a Goron. I knew it all along. I know this masked fool's tricks now. He can run, and he can hide, but he can't run and hide from Groski of the Yard. I'm coming for you, mask head face. Well then, I'm really very sorry about him. No matter how many times we discuss this, it doesn't seem to do any good. He's quite excitable. Every year his face shrinks a little more. Well, he's like a tree, where like the trunk grows, but his face stays the same size. So it used to be more proportional. Inspector Grosk, you now will continue to investigate the scene of the statue incident once he's calmed down. Leighton, let's reconvene once our officers have finished searching the scene. Yes, in the meantime, Emmy, Luke, and I will continue our own investigation. Meeting adjourned! Rubble, 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 rubble. You need that post-meeting rubble. 
Brr, you helped us out here, Layton. Now it's clear that Master Shellman has a partner in crime, and I think we've got him. Yeah, blah, blah. You're out of there. I'm an umpire now, you see? Yeah. I hope we got him. He's our only suspect. We're waiting for one of the officers to get back to us on the warrant. I can't release his name yet, but as soon as the warrant clears, I'm going to bring him in for questioning and confessioning. Even if he flees, we'll be able to track his movements. Everyone moves in patterns. Rubble with the Rory, eh? Uh oh. Oh, they're moving. I don't like that they're moving. From the sidelines. A little boy was walking around town when he came to a stop and just watched people move around for a bit. They're moving around in three distinct patterns as shown. The people he watched were in profile the entire time they were moving. Where was the boy watching from? Circle your answer on the map. They were in profile? How the fuck does someone move like that in profile? What? He watched people move around. They're moving in distinct patterns, as shown. Oh. This is the park. Don't keep me in suspense. This is stupid. There is no puzzle without a solution. Someone swing on a swing, on a seesaw, sliding down a slide, and running back to the ladder to go again. That one I didn't know. That one I was just like, the other two clearly are a slide and a seesaw. The ladder one I did not see. <laughs> but, but I'm like, it has to be the park. Because that's the only place where the, those things could be, but that's still like a leap in logic that was not present within the puzzle. Fine. I knew you'd get it. India, this is fun. This is stupid. It can be both. <laughs> Our suspect is currently under close surveillance. Hopefully, he'll lead us straight to the masked gentleman. Uh, eh. I just vipped you, India. So you have a fancy gem. So you stand out more when you say things. This sounds more promising, Chief. Because otherwise, I just never read chat, you know? I'll be glad to get closer to the truth here, especially if we find someone something out before Bloom does. As satisfying as that may be, please keep in mind that we all have the same goal here. Of course. Glad you're here, Layton. It's good to hear a voice of reason over the noise of those yapping London egos. If you find anything, just be sure you come see me first. Remember, I'm in charge here. Co covet it. Coveted gem. Professor Layton, any new revelations since we last spoke? Unfortunately, no. We suspect the masked gentleman is a tourist. We're checking hotel records for those who've been here for the month. Hundreds of people fit that description. I guess that's to be expected in a place like Monteor. But it's a start. I imagine it has been difficult to find many specifics about the culprit. Yes, this town situation is unique. The carnival certainly isn't helping. With so many wearing either a mask or a costume, Everyone is sus. Sheffield won't stop going on about keeping the public safe, but he won't accept that the public is in danger if we don't work together. If you come across anything, please let me know. Remember, I'm in charge here. I need to get back to the investigation if I'm going to find anything before he does. Well, Detective Bloom and Chief Sheffield have an interesting working relationship. They sure do. Yeah, right. Chat is cute. Professor Among Us. Layden, I just heard. Stupendous. Absolutely incredible. Thank you for your help. It was nothing, Mayor. Oh, it was. Never mind, then. Wait. It was definitely not nothing. The police said you debunked our dark miracles. That means we can reopen the art museum. The curator will be thrilled. Maybe you could stop there so we can thank you in person. I heard we received some new art donations. I'll personally see to it that they're checked for vanishing paint. You reopen the museum, Professor. Always happy to do something for the fine arts. Perhaps we should continue our investigation with a museum visit. Put who on BTTV on the... Are we still talking about the letter? Yeah, I guess not. That we know where he's striking tonight. His shin clips into his clothes when he talks. Huh, uh. Buh. There, uh. I never thought I'd be so excited about going to a museum. 
Behind the bureaucracy! Oh boy, more like behind the mustache. Nani? Michelle, Michelle, where are you? I'm right here in front of you, Mr. Mayor. I just had two ideas. Sir, we already agreed that an underwater casino was a bad idea. We did? Scratch the first one. I was also thinking about all the questions we've been getting lately. Our office has been flooded with questions about the masked gentleman. I know it's disrupting you and your work, but I was thinking that we should put together a special task force. We could give them headquarters here at City Hall, so they'd be on hand in case any new incidents occur. Mr. Mayor, how many times do I have to tell you? That's, that's not a bad idea, actually. I had a good one, yes? And I thought we could call Scotland Yard and see if they could spare a few investigators. Wait, we can do that? Well, I, I think we can. Or should we just wait for them to call us? I knew the good ideas had to come to an end at some point. Don't worry, sir. I'll take care of it. Michelle's the only one keeping this place together. Shoutouts to all the Michelles in the in the public service world. Uh, I need to get some more water. I've been I've been hydrating, which is good. But this game is a lot of reading. So, BRB. Let me get. I'm gonna be gone for like ten seconds, but let me give you a Megan man. Uh, nah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, Barry. I'm just gonna get some water. I miss Barry. This used to be a Barry stream. Fuck. Shit. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. What's he plotting? What's he up to? I don't know. <clears throat> Look at cop alerts. Now's a good time. This used to be a chair stream. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Um, wistful vulpine. Thank you for 20 months. It's my birthday. How kind of you to stream just for me. Jokes aside, I appreciate you and the good vibes your stream brings. Let's get to puzzling. Happy birthday, wistful vulpine. Oh boy. Thank you, Zephyr. I appreciate it. It's all I give to subs. Happy to be there, Wistful Vulpine. Um, this stream is, in fact, for you. And I'm glad you recognize that. So thank you. Hope you have a great day. Stod! Thank you for 50 bits, Stod. Barry's puzzling. Thank you, Stod. Hope you're having a good one, dude. Sorry I missed you earlier. Uh, Cave, thanks for 69 bits. Frankie's a prime example of skipping arm day for your whole life. Pneumatic Meat gift to the sub to Ragtime Vibes for the third month. Yeah, Bear, 16 months. Zade with Raid. Smashman, thanks for 96 bits. Laugh or I'll shoot. Dr. Verbs, thanks for 17 months. Former H. Spanky here. Thank you. I would chime in with a witty quote from The Mask 1994, but I don't remember a damn thing about that movie. I mean, that's fair. I feel like there's a couple of pretty famous quotes from it, though. But anyway, thank you. The famous is, it's puzzling time, and then he puzzles. He's entitled to explain the game overlays too? Uh, I mean, yes. I can do that. Oh, I don't have it set up for the 3DS scene. Well, then never mind. No! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is just the Snake Man remix from, uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah. If, I, if, ever, if I'm ever playing music for, like, like a work stream or something, I have the, the song display on. Yes, but also no. Somebody stop me. Yeah. I remember being terrified I watched it when I was 20. See, I remember being terrified of it, but I watched it when I was like five or six. I don't remember it that well. 
But if you watched it when you're 20 and it was scary, it must be pretty messed up. But anyway, thank you. Um, beep, 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 beep. Three bees in a trench coat, thanks for 40 months. Sorry if you repeated this a hundred times already, but I just showed up. How you liking the 3D art here compared to the 2D? Does the Switch game look like it has better art to you? Um, I, I, I did say it earlier. I'll repeat myself. It's fine. Um, I think that a lot of the 3D art is not bad. Apparently, it's better in Azran Legacy. I just don't really remember that much. Um, and from what I've seen of the new one, even if it's pre-rendered, I have high hopes that the Switch can better render 3D models. Part of it is just that they're like low resolution, low poly. And I think the art style lends itself to something higher fidelity. If they're trying to represent the 2D art in 3D. Um, and then it's, it, it gets the job done. It is jarring at first, but I think it's fine. And I love the environments in this. Like a lot of it is 2D layered sprites. Some of the environments are 3D, but just the parallax you get from looking around compared to the more static scenes in the, uh, the old ones. Like it just looks really good. Feels nice. It's fine. I do miss the 2D art. It's the problem is that the 2D art is so so good, and so whenever it cuts to a 2D animated cutscene, it's like oh, oh, it's so nice. It's so good to see. Whereas the old games, even though it was so crunchy, the 2D art just compressed down better. I think so. Yeah. Uh, hey, Automaton, first time catching live. Hey, welcome. Thanks for coming by live stream and thanks for watching some vods. Hope you're doing good. 2D style is timeless. It is timeless. But, yeah. I, I think it would definitely work, but I think having 2D cutout people not really animated in a 3D world you're looking around would be more jarring than 3D models that are just, like, sometimes just okay. Sometimes they're pretty good. I think some characters like Grosky held up pretty well in 3D, but, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Universe Fireworks, thanks for the 190 bits. You mean Danganronpa? See, I've only... I've never played a Danganronpa. All of my experience with Danganronpa is dipping in and out of Gam streaming them and Gam going, Barry, leave their spoilers. And I'm like, but I don't have any context for anything, nor will I remember it, but also fair. I still have no idea if I'll ever play one myself, but wise decision. Or Gam was just like, it, you, you, you will not understand anything that's happening. I don't think you'd like it. I might not. I don't know. I just get annoyed. What if I stream Danganronpa with you in a call game so you could help me make sense of it and then you're like, this is why you hate this. And I'll be like, yeah, this is why I hate this. Hmm. You'll think about it. <laughs> Fickle Cat, thanks for 61 months. It'd be fun to fuck with you. It would not be hard. Damn Ga- I need Dan and Gam in a call for Dan Gam Rompa. Had to finish V3. Oh, shit. He's attorney for edgelords. Is that accurate? Dan Gamrompa. Shit. Conflicting hints. That is accurate. Good. Actually, yeah. Dan Gam owns the. Now we're getting further from it making sense. Shit. Okay, okay, they're all in. They're all in. We'll make it work. We'll schedule it. We'll make it happen. Now it's Thanksgiving. Dan Gamrina, that. Almost works better. Dang it, Grandpa. Anyway, uh, Fickle Cat, thanks for 61 months. Leon Nillian, thanks for a year. Finished studies for a cloud infrastructure certificate I need and can schedule the exam. I'm fucking exhausted. Entertain me, Luke and Layton. Also, one year. Enjoy your mildly cursed Okay, Thank you. Best luck with that cert. Certs sound like a lot of work. And from what little I know from people I know getting them, it's like 10% useful and 90% bullshit. And 100% why is this so expensive? So I hope it's going well and good luck. Thank you for a year. Kurt, thanks for 33 months. Welcome back. Yep, that's it. <laughs> um, hey, just popping in to say happy double three. Gotta go see all some other stream. Thanks, Kurt. Ev Bay, thanks for 100 bits. Did Luke, Luke just punch a cactus? Yes. Anonymous, gift of the sub, the Jester of Sheeps for their 11th month. Super Thingy Mabob, thanks for two months. I resub so I could watch Layton without the ads, but then I slept through the start of the stream. Oh no! Well, you still don't have ads for the next month. Thank you. Enjoy your bronze key. Uh, Christmas, thanks for 28 months. Welcome back. Uh, Zephyr Feline gifted 10 subs. 
to Knocked Glaive Art, Locked Heart 7, Yoshi Stomper, Nine Ball Cerno, The Clever Dinosaur, Puzzling Trash, Armed and Psycho, Pirate King 72, Mr. Wogue, and Roar Cord. Thank you very much, Zephyr. Appreciate it. Uh, Smash Bros. Thanks for 10 bits. There are times when I'm not fully paying attention and I keep getting confused thinking you're ad-libbing his actual game dialogue. This is especially true whenever you have Luke say something goofy. For some reason, I think he's a lot dumber than he is. This is by design. Me ad-libbing in character and then moving on without acknowledging it is to fuck with anyone who's AFK. Not AFK, like alt-tabbed. Anyone who's treating the stream as background noise. I acknowledge you and I respect you. And I thank you. But also I might fuck with you a little bit. And that is my right. <laughs> and I will never stop. Anyway. Yeah. Raise his hand. You can't raise your hand if you're here. If you're if you're if you're back if you're background noising the stream, get out of my chat. What are you doing? Go back to whatever you're doing. Thank you, India. It's in the Constitution. I'm in and out. That's fair. <laughs> We're all in the house. That's true. I'll tab back to say I understand. And back I go. And thanks. <laughs> it's the three monitor life. I miss having three monitors. Two just it, it, like. Going down to one makes me sad. Having two, like I have here, is like I can do what I need to do. Three is just like, oh man. It's like I got room to stretch out. Man. I got, I can, I can like do like this. It's like when you're on a plane and then the person sitting next to you gets up to take a shit and you're like, oh, I can move. Oh, that's three monitors, man. It's nice. I couldn't work one. No, I could not work on one. I need two to work, basically. I can work on one, but man. But streaming? Ugh. Streaming on one monitor must be real rough. Well, fine, I won't work. You can just do whatever you want. How many times do I have to say it? I'm usually a lurker when I watch other people's streams, so... I- you will never catch me legitimately being upset about lurkers. Never. I might joke about it because it's funny, but... Uh, lurkers are what Twitch was built on, damn it. Anyway. Two monitors is wing aisle, three monitors is wing aisle, and no one's sitting next to you. Where it's like, two, this is all right. Three? Now, three is luxury. Now, that is nice. All right. To the gallery. Shaming my own people. You can't make fun of yourself. Too bad. Self-deprecation is all I know. Oh, that inspector. Oh, her again. The lady in in is obsessed with Inspector Grosky. Barry told me to get out of the chat. See where I go. Oh, seven, Zachatron. Now, find my PC allowed three. Three. That Inspector Grosky's such a dream boat. The neon lights of Monteor really highlight his pompadour. And his chest hair. It's like a furry hand greeting you from just over his collar. Oh. Oh, I didn't see you there. I'm Hannah, president of the Grosquettes. This is my fan club for Inspector Grosky. Care to join? Ah, Hannah, of course. We've met before. And thanks, but no thanks. I'm not really much of a joiner. I followed the inspector here, but he seems to be busy doing police work. He's been working around the clock. Sorry I had to come all the way from London for nothing. If you'll excuse us. It's my duty as president to watch Inspector Grosky's every move. Too bad the local police are holding him back. The local police are holding Grosky back? Haha. <laughs> I mean, yes. Uh -huh. How long have you been following Grosky around, Hannah? Oh, a while. I was there when the masked gentleman turned those people into horses. That was crazy. I was also there when he turned those people to stone. That was insanity. I know Grosky's moving swiftly to catch the masked gentleman, though. Well, his legs move swiftly, as does his mouth. We know that much. I heard the police found tracks from some sort of carriage. Next time I see Grosky, I'm going to tell him about the tracks. He worked so hard, he may not have heard about them yet. I also found this photo when I was following the inspector around the other day. I was hoping it would be a useful clue, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, Hannah's sus. Yeah, like, her model compared to her 2D art, I think, is totally fine. I think part of it is when they're basically in a kind of restrictive pose that really works for their silhouette. And they just kind of move around a little bit in that. But when you have Luke and Layton in, like, full 3D being like, I say, my boy, we're in three dimensions. That's when it's like, ah, uncanny. Stop it. So like maybe a lot of it's more the framing and the animation than the actual model work because of how weird the designs are. We found the real inspector. 42, couple at the cafe. 
The owner of a cafe took a photo of a visiting celebrity couple. Please this punch, the owner said he put it up somewhere in the cafe, but the resulting photo ended up looking a bit, well, miserable. Where's the best place to put it up without harming the cheerful ambiance of the cafe? This is a special photo, so you can't cut it up. Huh? Huh? Uh... They have a little bit of mascot syndrome. Yes, definitely. This will make you mad. So... The photo looks miserable. Where's the best place to put up this photo without harming the cheerful ambiance of the cafe? I don't remember this. In the bathroom? Outside? Because that's technically not in the cafe. Uh... You wrap it around the pole. Set him up and knock him down. Yeah, all right. Piece of cake. Yeah, right. Yeah, I already did Okay. But would you look at that? By wrapping around the column, the photos transformed to one depicting an amicable toast. Perfect that the post was exactly the right circumference as the photo was wide. The coincidence of that. Imagine going to a cafe and there's a photo of celebrities toasting wrapped around a pole. You'd be like, why don't you frame this? It's very... Okay. It's a puzzle! Oh boy. They still don't look happy. Yeah, but now they're toasting to their unhappiness. If only life was as simple as a puzzle. What am I doing? I don't have time to mope around. I got things to do. Inspector Grosky isn't gonna follow himself around. That's not what following means. Yep, beep, beep, boop, boop. Hey, at the da da da. Alright. Uh, uh. To the gallery. Back to stalking. My favorite. Apparently, I missed a coin there. That's fine. I already have enough. Pixelating is very good. Looks like the museum reopened. Just like the mayor said. Let's go inside and have a look. Look around. Oh, yeah. A fine museum. Fine, I'd say it's magnificent. It seems pretty fine. Hello! Hello! Not so loud, Luke. People are trying to appreciate fine art. An exquisite arch. The architect really had an eye for detail. Inner strength isn't about looking strong. No, that's why it's inner strength. But outer strength is sometimes about looking strong. He looks calm and confident, just like you, Professor. This piece evokes a bit of sadness. Sad that he's not even more buff. And they took his penis. Very sad. I love this piece. I should spend more time in museums. There's just something about it. Outer strength is Grosky. Yeah. Oh, we can zoom over there. Wait, well, I wasn't paying attention. But uh, the thing I said about penises, that's, that, that's just, don't worry about it. Isn't this something? It was just him. It's just him. There are a lot of famous statues that had their, their dicks chopped off by people being like, we can't look at that in a museum. That's, yeah. how uncouth. Sir! It's so nice to be able to share our gift of art with the people again. Thank you so much for your help. I'm Artie, the director here. Because of the art, Mayor Brilson told me about your work with the task force. It was my pleasure. Might I ask you a few questions about the incident here? Just put some pants on him. Of course, but I've already told the police everything I know. Though I can assure you that we'll be inspecting any anonymous donations much more thoroughly from now on. I don't imagine the masked gentleman will be making any more donations here. That's what they least expect. I certainly hope not. We did find a nice puzzle among the donated paintings here. Someone donated a pizza pie puzzle. I don't think that someone donated a 
piece of art. I think someone ordered pizza to the museum for lunch. What is happening to that man in the bottom left? A renowned but clumsy chef prepared this mouth-watering margarita pizza and cut it into eight slices. Unfortunately, he somehow managed to flip over all but one of them in the process. He tried his best to flip the slices back up, but the cheese is spread so thickly that every time he flips one, the adjacent slices turn over with it. Can you find a way to flip the slices? They face the right way up. Touch and rotate the spatula on the touch screen. Move the, to flip it. Touch the touch screen, the slices will slip up, slip all the way up. Easy. First, first you gotta flip those three, and then those three, and then, and then we'll, and then we'll, we'll though, and then we'll those, will, as well. Wait, no, not, not those two. The, um, the, these, the, the, nope, these ones, and then this one's. And then, oh wait, wait, not that. Wait then, so what if you do those, just like that? Um, perfect, Ex exquisite, no notes, stop turning, absolutely perfect, done. Uh, every puzzle has a... Professor, you alright? You're sweating onto the pizza. Luke, I... Every pizza has a puzzle. Really? Really, Professor? Really? Every... Every... Every solution has a pizza. Uh, professor, you seem to just be flipping them at random, Professor. Luke, it's a... There comes a man. There comes a man in a time's life when he must flip a pizza 80 times. I believe I have this one. Professor, you alright? No. Solving puzzles no. Nice. I solved it. Thank you. You're tired, you don't solve it? Pizza face kills you. Is this the chase music? Yeah. That's extremely stressful puzzle music. Thank you. There comes a man in a pizza's time? I know what I said. Magnifico! You can flip the entire pizza face up in just three moves. I mean, yeah, that's obviously what I did. Yeah, three moves. Yep. Little lost squirrel. Oh, you really are something else. Detective Bloop said you were a puzzle master. Thank you again. We couldn't have reopened the museum without your help. And Mr. Lodore's help, of course. Henry? Yes, that's right. He kindly donated several replacements for the confiscated pieces. Restoring them in our warehouse with some other pieces generously donated by Mr. Lodore. Just until we inspect them. I guess when you're the richest guy in town, you can replenish a museum pretty easily. I suppose you're right, Luke. Mr. Lador's a valued patron. If you have other questions, Madame Lepushka in the Merchant District may be able to help you. I'm not one for gossip, but she has lived here quite a while. She knows everything about everyone, and she loves to talk. Yes, thank you, Artie. Let's pay her a visit, shall we? The lady spy? That spy is a spy. Oh, it's her. Once again, that masked man escapes me. At this rate, I'll never be able to aid my darling inspector. Oh, Grosky, I shall wait vigilantly for you at the scene of every crime. That speed, that elegance, that form, truly blessed with grace and poise to rival that of the masked gentleman. You're not the female spy, are you? I beg your pardon? My name is Hannah. I am the president of the Grosquettes. Dreadfully sorry, it's just that you moved with such finesse. Forgive me. Why are you dabbing at your mouth with a cracker? What is this about a spy? This is exactly the sort of information that would be useful to the inspector. Well, it has become common knowledge that whenever the masked gentleman strikes, she is sure to appear. She first appeared after the detectives from London arrived. It's rumored that she's some sort of secret agent. He likes sniffing saltines. That sounds like a euphemism. Yo, BRB, I gotta go sniff some saltines. Who could this be? When the gentleman flies into the air, she leaps across rooftops. When he flees on wheels, she pursues in heels. No officer ever beats her to the scene of a crime, and she has scoured every inch of the city. I need a snort of cracker. Yeah. Goodness gracious! 
She sounds very sus to me. If I find her, maybe I can get some information for Inspector Grosky. I would like to see her with my own eyes, but I suspect she may be a myth. We'll see about that. Thank you very much, sir. Oh my, Grosky, I'll get to the bottom of this for you. Goodness, that young woman certainly has a fiery passion. I wonder if I have any pizza left. Pizza. Sometimes you just start thinking about pizza again. Wow. Ah! A hidden puzzle, if I'm not mistaken. The painting puzzle. Oh! Let me see him, chat. The museum has received a letter from a mysterious art thief. It reads, Your precious queen is all mine. The curator, awash with panic, has rushed off to see whether his prize statue really has been stolen. Since he keeps it well hidden, right at the back of the warehouse, however, it's rather difficult to check. Move the crates around to open up a path. Get the statue from the far left to the exit on the right. Okay, yep. No, no. Okay. Oh, he actually moves on the other screen. When I s that's fun. You have something to look at as I suffer. Um... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, he's back around. Um. Uh. 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 if you set fire to them I agree this might be impossible they might they might have put an impossible puzzle in the game as a prank uh, 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 who who we who who wow um yep no yep no this is yep mm-hmm no that's that's not it that's not it. Uh, oh. Ooh. Oh. Fuck. Um. Eh. No. Shit. Sh fuck. No, no, no. I got. I listen. You can't. You must not fear. Fear is the puzzle killer. It is the little death that makes you spend hint coins on a sliding block puzzle just for the game to go, What if you slid them around better? Um, yeah. What oh, oh, about like, oh, about like that? Get that out there. Um, is that, is that at, at all a step in a direction? Um, uh, oh, oof, um, gah, 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 okay, okay, well, no, hmm, if you slide the 9999, the puzzle solves immediately, yeah, it just, it just shows Leighton shrugging, and it says, I guess, I, oh, 
I love puzzles. I love Professor Layton games. I love uh, touchscreen puzzles where you slide things around. It's going to be great if the Switch game has a puzzle like this, because doing this without touch controls? An atrocious nightmare that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. And I would love to see it happen. Um, 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 about there. Wait, let me get that out of there. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, um, fucking god damn it. I, 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 I cannot, I cannot, I absolutely cannot, holy shit, I detest this, I detest this with my being, I, 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 oh, Oh. 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 Go. I just fucking. Yeah, no, you know what? Yeah, you know what? The key to this puzzle is working out how to get the two crates with protruding parts into the top area. Okay. Slide the far right crate into the exit. Then move the small rectangular crate next to it into the top gap in the top right corner. What now? Okay. That. And then from here. More. So I need to start by getting this guy up to the top somehow? Yeah, sure. I mean, that's... Pretty straightforward, I would, I should think. Uh, oh, 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 um, uh, uh, shit, um, where can he go? This is, this is, this is, okay, 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 now you can swap that, very simply, holy shit. I believe I have this one. Easy. An excellent puzzle. S excellent puzzle. So good, such, I love it. Oh my god. Wow. Takes a minimum of 26 moves to get the statue out. What a relief. Shit, it's safe and sound. Who's that lurking in the shadows? Could it be the dastardly thief herself? Yeah, probably. That spin. God damn it. Phew! Glad that's the only sliding block puzzle in the game. I'm sure it's gonna be good. I love the thrill of a good solution. How does anyone have the patience to paint something this soup? Superstar. Thank you, Polarish. Appreciate it. Also, BM Spoons, thank you for seven months. It's a lot. Welcome back. Lucky number Schmevin. Me. Now here's a classic. I think a painting like this in my office would do nicely. I've seen this before, it's quite famous. Such a delicate yet bold touch leaves the viewer mesmerized. Uh, yes, my thoughts, exactly. Me mesmerized. Yeah. 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 Oh. oh, yeah. Big golden hand. Stealing something from the museum. A daring sculpture. It almost reaches out to grab the viewer. 
You could probably sit in it if you wanted. That's all very well, but what does it mean? It means hand. It's titled, Gotta Hand It To You. Go to Lapushka's. Done. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Bum -bum 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 -bum. Your hat is absolutely exquisite! I love the whole classic gentleman look. I'm Yu Ming, by the way. Ah, uh, well, thank you. I strive to be one and not only in dress. I hear English gentlemen appreciate a good puzzle. You should enjoy this. Look at that fucking man inside of that truck. Frosty the Snowman motherfucker. A family of three runs a mobile donut shop. Their most popular item is a four glazed donut. There are 12 donuts here, three of which were made by the mother of the family. She makes donuts in her own unique way. Can you find the mother's donuts? The glaze on the donuts is the same on both sides, by the way. But keep in mind that flipping one will change the order of the glazes. What? Huh? What? Three of these donuts were made in a unique way. Flipping one will change the order of the glazes. Right, because if you flip it, then it's different, because then it's whatever is like on the right is on the left. Uh, um... So... Uh, um... So let me think, if we got like the, the, the dark part with sprinkles and like the unfrosted part, opposite each other. That's one, two, three, four, five. So that's not hers. What about, um, pink and plain? Is this guy, um, this guy, this guy? Pink and sparkles. Sprinkles, not sparkles. It's that guy, and this guy, and that guy, and that guy. Four. And well, how many did she make? She made three of them? Yeah, she made three of them. So hers are the, the ones that I highlighted red. So bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. I believe I have this one. An excellent puzzle. If you put your finger on your screen, you can touch hands. You can touch fingers with Layton. When you- that's your reward for solving a puzzle correctly. It's like creation of Adam. But you touch in Layton's finger. Because you got some pick rats. What if we touched fingers under the donut wagon? The mother of the family made the second donut from the top- yeah. If you look carefully, you notice that donuts are glazed in slightly different ways. Just a case of finding a group of three donuts that match in some way and are different from the rest. This masked gentleman certainly is puzzling. I heard he turned a group of people into stone. I wonder how he does it. He's claiming he performs some sort of miracle. I suspect there's more to it than that, or less to it, if you will. The police are investigating the matter, but a gentleman like yourself may be better equipped to solve such a mystery. A gentleman, Inspector? You should make look into investigating the masked gentleman. Yes, I may just do that. But only because you said so. I may look into the other hotels here. Okay. You know, darling, it's never too early to start thinking about your next, next costume party or your next outfit. Sorry, Madame Lapushka, but we're here on business. We heard that you've been here in Monteor for quite some time. Sounds like you're starting to wise up. Yes, well, any type of investigation in this town is bound to be rough. See, getting solid information in Mont Deor is difficult, because most of the people here are on their vacations. Tourists are always coming and going, so those who truly know the town are few and far between. That is a good point, and the reason why we're here. Yes, that is why I said it. I have a question about the local police. Now, now, darling, information doesn't grow on trees. You need to solve this puzzle first. Naturally. Naturally. 47. Trial by tennis. Agent 47. 
murdering someone in a tennis match? Six ladies have just finished playing a tennis tournament in a round robin style. Each one played all the others once. The results are still in the process of being drawn up on the board shown here. But you know that only two of the matches ran out of time and ended in draws. Much to their surprise, E managed to win a match despite being a tennis rookie. Can you work out who she defeated? Mm-hmm. So. Only two ended in draw. And C draw tw drew twice. So. That means C played against A and B. And drew against them. Um, E won a match despite being a rookie. So has F not played any matches yet? They said it's still in progress, but... F would have some on the board already if that was the case. And E's only done one match. How... How do you determine... Oh, so A is the person I thought was the snowman serving donuts. They haven't been written yet. They just finished playing a tournament. You're right. But they're still writing the answers. Okay, so F is included. We just don't have all the information. So. How do I determine more than just who C played? C drew against... I feel like this is not a good way to... To break it down. Um... But we have A, B, C, D, E, and F, and C. I'm trying to think of how to visualize this. B has four wins, which means they beat everyone. Except for C. Because C... Well, C lost one. Oh, no. Because they drew once against C. You're right. But their four wins were against... So we know it wasn't B. Okay. That's something to work off of. And there were only two draws. So uh, let, me, let, me, let me take a different approach here. We can fill out that there were zero draws here, here, and here. Eh. Um. And we know that it wasn't B. And obviously it wasn't C. Actually, we don't... Actually, I'm saying obviously we do... I, we don't know. I keep thinking that they only had two draws, but we also had two wins and a loss. So D had... Oh, no, let's go with A, because A drew against C, lost one... And had three other wins. So who did they lose to? They lost to B. Wait. Yes. It was got up to five, right? Uh, yes. So A lost to B and drew against C and won. So it wasn't A either. Done. Um... D, or maybe C, maybe C. Who did C lose to? C also lost to B. Right, because if everyone has, everyone's gonna have at least one lose. So C tied, wait, no, C tied against, C tied against A and B, lost to somebody and won to. So who did they lose to? We don't know. But well, he only had the one win. For her. What about D? D lost to B. What is their other lose to? B, B, B. It must be A. D lost to A and B, and then won against everyone else. 
so then they lost to C. Or so, D defeated C. Was it F? Did they win against F? F? I believe I have this one. Okay. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. Daylight savings did happen. F lost to everyone. Yeah, it's daylight savings, and I didn't start as late as usual, so... A yeah, double whammy of being kind of on time. What was the question? Yeah, I don't know. F lost all our matches. Onward and upward. Exactly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Yeah, that... That wasn't that hard of a question. I just couldn't decide on a way to visualize the information. I feel like I would need an entire grid. And I was too lazy to draw it out. So I was trying to do it in my head, and it just took a while. But we're good. <clears throat> Everyone's supposed to count for. Right. Because with the information that we had, it was very easy to determine easy. I mean, again, it took me... <laughs> it's like every step took some doing to be like, wait, if this, then this, and this. But it's like, okay, then C tying A and B, and then the amount of wins that were on the board just kind of rules them all out. That's why I was like, wait, process of elimination. Okay. Is there anything you can tell me about the local police force? It's always fun guessing F, though, because if I'm wrong, then chat can just spam F. So, of course, the people of Monteor have always mistrusted the local police. Not because they're corrupt, they are, but because they're inept. Inept and corrupt? That's the worst double whammy. They just haven't been able to keep up with the growth of the town. I see. Do you know anyone with a grudge against the Lodoro Dalston families? You mean, besides the many people who've gone broke in their many casinos, no one comes to mind. But I was thinking. These dark miracles do seem to require quite a bit of flash money, don't you think? Did you say cash money? No, flash money. My thoughts exactly. Does that make you think of anyone in particular? No, but some of those circus performers came in recently and rented a large number of costumes at a pretty penny. I thought that was rather interesting, darling. Don't ask me why. Because clowns should have their own costumes and shouldn't need to rent them from a shop? That is kind of suspicious. Yeah, don't circus performers usually have their own costumes? Professor, do you think they're actually helping the masked gentleman? It's possible. Let's see what we can find out at the circus tent. Well, boy, the circus. Finally, Professor. It's for business, Luke. No, beans. Ah. Good. Ah. Hey, the guy with the hat, remember me? Of course, how could I forget? I'm glad to see you're doing well. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, I might be a statue, which might be an improvement. Is everything all right? Oh, I hurt my back, so the circus put me on 30 minute medical leave. An injured clown is useless. I can't even bend down to reach my rubber chicken. Now I'm just working on this puzzle here. Can you help me out? Thirty minutes. Suit crates. Four large painted crates are sitting here. When stacked in a certain way, these crates combine to create e one of the four symbols of a card suit, either spade, heart, diamond, or club. Use the crane to move the four crates and place them on the dais on the right, so they form this card suit symbol. You can rotate the crates horizontally in midair. Oh boy, trendy game. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. Um, yeah, what we got here? So, I, am I to assume only one card shape is able to be made? Well, I already know that it can't be club. Because this is the same piece on both of them. Um, could be diamond, could be spade. Can't be heart, either. Oh. Yeah. So it's either diamond or spade. Let's see. 
Nie, e. Aha. Spin. Okay. Please have a diamond. Red. Wait, shit. Because this guy also had... Oh, it was just the same... I thought one of them had a different side. No. Was I mistaken? Shoot. Okay, so that's spade then. Wait. There's that, oh, that one. But I don't have what I need for... Okay, so then it's... Spade? No, it's not. I think the Bombs of Heart Diamond and Club Spade are the same. Oh. You... You pro... You pro... You probably right. It might still be Spade, though. Yes. Methinks. Good. Maybe it's club. Sh yeah. Hey, look at look at you. I love a trendy Just game. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. POV, you're the rubber chicken. Oh God. That was Pathetic. a challenge, to be sure. I'm not gonna pick you up. The crates were meant to form a suit of clubs. Thanks for the distraction. I almost forgot about my crippling back pain. Almost. Stop by the circus sometime and visit our lonely tiger. That sounds tragic and not even remotely entertaining. He described it as being lonely. I've never been to a circus before. We're not here to clown around, Luke. Be sure to stay focused then. What was that, Emmy? I've joined the circus. You mean, you joined the circus again? Because we're already a circus. Look, they have a wild animal show. Come on, let's go before it fills up. Hot single tigers in your area. Have we done anything with the rabbit? I haven't really done any of the other minigames since doing them once. Kind of figure I'd save them for later. So we have a bunch all saved up. Well then, so much for that. Come, Luke, let's enjoy ourselves. It depends on your definition, computer. We're not here to clown around, Luke. Give me a break. Acrobats or bureaucrats, maintaining balance is never an easy task. But the clowns make it look like a piece of cake. Ball balancing, it's easy once you get used to it. Emmy, not in front of the children. What? Beep, beep, beep. Ooh, I bet they jump through this when it's on fire. May I? Watch your hair, Emmy! A feat like that requires quite a bit of courage. And a fire extinguisher. Ah, oh, lighting puzzle. If you look closely, you'll see the illuminations come together to form an elaborate puzzle. It's just like RE4 for real. 48! Lighting action. The ringmaster's having a word with the man in charge of lighting. An angry word. Hey, what did you call this mess? Put those lights in order on the double. Leave the top left and bottom right ones. They're all right. You need to move and rotate the rest. They need to be in order from top left to bottom right. Uh-huh. Top left and bottom right are okay. Move and rotate the rest, and they'd be in order from top left to bottom right. Okay, so they're, they're numbers? Uh, anyway, well, 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 you know, I do, I do see, oh, 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 okay. I was like, well, this, this, this looks like sh shit. 
This looks like shit. This looks like a three to me. And this is six? Yeah. I don't like them breaking apart in ways I don't expect. Wait. Hey. Yeah. Um. What can I make a two out of? Can I make a two out of you? Uh, 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 uh. Wait, maybe. No. Maybe, maybe you, sir. Good. God. Uh, now we're grooving. Uh, there's our seven. And. I've done it. How about this? Puzzles are made to be solved. Tigers generally prefer to be in solitary, but they aren't competing for re if they aren't competing for resources. Siblings or occasionally mated pairs will stick together. Circuses are almost universally bad for most animals, as our elephant friend and trombone champ says, ban the use of circus animals. I learned how to count. And I learned about animals in captivity. So the lights were supposed to be in the shape of the numbers. The show must go on. He's very upset. That man is pogging something fierce, though. When the streamer accidentally does something right. Whoa! Thumbs up. It wasn't on purpose, though. He's upset about the pog, as he should be. I have a circus that uses drones to form animal sheeps. You still get the spirit of an animal show. I don't, I listen. I'm not in favor of circus animals as a concept, but I don't know if a drone making the shape of an animal is comparable to the same experience of seeing an animal doing stuff. You know what I mean? I would sooner just. And turn it into like a Cirque du Soleil thing, where it's just feats of, of, of human acrobatics and, and athleticism and skill. You know, like, like a, more of an acrobat show than just like, look at these animals, because that's still amazing to see. Like, it's easy to make fun of clowns, because you should make fun of them. Look at them. But if you've ever been to a legit acrobat show, it is wild what people can do. And there's issues with acrobat shows on their own. I know. We don't have to get into that. It isn't ideal, but at least now the stage will be lit in time for the show. Good. Sir? They're always evil. Or they're evil in training. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to the One Ring Circus. I am Tyrone, your ringmaster. Hello again. The rabbit you gave us earlier is doing quite well. He's, he's filled my briefcase to the brim with poop. Oh yes, the rabbit. Our family of performers is doing just fine without that furry louse. Business is grazing its fingers along the firmament of the sky. Ever since Mr. Dalston hired us a month ago, we've been sold out. Even as we speak, our stars performing in our big tents before a packed crowd. I really can't thank Mr. Dalston enough for his investment and for his trust in us. He even offered us this prime location. Tyrone, I was told that the circus rented a number of costumes from a local boutique. Looking around, I see no shortage of costumes. Can you explain this to me? Underneath the face paint and the colored wigs, my performers are real people with real needs, my good man. They wanted to enjoy the parade and the other festivities with the rest of the city, but as people, not as circus performers. So I procured them some wardrobe options. Is renting clothes a crime for it to be so? For if it be so, then shackle my wrists, my good man. So, no, none of these clown performers had non-clown outfits. Thank you for the hydrate fireworks. Not a single one of them had, like, a non-polka dot pattern pair of pants. That was unintentional alliteration. They were born with the clown. Right. That's their skin. 
Yeah, they're clowns. Hi, dear. It's the way they live. It's a way of life. One had a t-shirt that had Steve on it. Once you clown, you can't clown down. No need for that. That was very kind of you to do that for your employees. I have the heart of a lion, but the brain of a salmon who swims downstream. Perhaps you can help me with this puzzle here. Probably quite quick for a salmon to swim downstream. Oh. Mm-hmm. Floor seats. Miss A is complaining about the seat she had for last night's play. Can you work out where she was sitting? The five of us sat in a row with me in the middle. Talk about a fifth wheel. Of course, I got stuck behind some big oaf in a top hat. I could hardly see the stage. That was my bad. There were four seats between me and the aisle to my right. I needed the loo, but I didn't dare make a fuss. Since my view was blocked, I took to looking at my ticket and noticed the seat number and row were two apart. Hmm. Okay. Um. What we got? Um. <clears throat> so they sat in a row with her in the middle. Actually, with the last number, I noticed the seat number and row number were two apart. So she can't be anywhere on most of the right side. Because at most she could sit in number eight. Except... Um, there were four seats between me. Five of us sat in a row with me in the middle. So none of these on the right. None of them. Pretty sure. Um, fuck this math equation ass bullshit fucking brain explodes. It's not really math. It's just using numbers, but... I say that, but in 10 seconds I'll be like, fuck this! Um, I stuck behind some oaf in the top hat, so not in the first row. There were four seats between me in the aisle to my right. So, one, two, three, four... Could be here. Right? Five of us in a row. Mm -hmm. Or could be, uh, could be here. Wait, did I not count properly? There were four seats between, no, no. I don't know how to count. That's three. I counted her as four. Um, so four seats could be that, or this, or, um, this, or this? Five in a row with me in the middle. I got stuck behind some oaf in a top hat. This means she's not in the front row. Right. There were four seats between me and the aisle on my right. So my view is locked, I took a look at it, and the seat number and row number were two apart. So, was it... Three, four, four, five, four, six. Wow, that's a pretty shit seat. Um, so it was row six, number four. How about this? Six foot Puzzles four. Are made to be solved. That's a pretty bad seat. Right at the back. Oh dear, at first she seemed very fussy, but anyone would complain about that seat. Yeah. I mean, some theaters with a raised stage, being far back's not that big a deal, but it can still suck. Smug lady. Smug. Who could block some of her? But she was in the back row. So she didn't block anyone. Quite impressive, my good man. You would make quite a clown or animal trainer. Speaking of, please come and meet our resident white tiger, the fearsome and the ferocious Maurice. He's one of Mr. Dalston's favorites. His cage is right over there, and he longs for the company of good human friends. Oh boy, I can't wait to be sad. A white tiger. Perhaps you could speak with him, Luke. I've never talked to a tiger, but I'd sure like to give it a try. Thank you, Tyrone. We will talk with Maurice for a moment. T talk with the tiger? Very well. I shall not shatter the glass through which you perceive the world. But that's kind of crazy. Careful now! His namesake was earned! He's not the fearsome and ferocious Maurice for nothing. You think a guy who manages a circus would hear that he could talk to animals and be like, Oh shit, we can sell this. Right this way. Um, oh! 
Oh, that is a very tiny, sad little cage. Oh. Radical. Ferocious beast. Hey, Maurice. Grr, grr, grr. He's got a nice little hat, though. He's certainly vocal and sleepy looking. Not quite what I had envisioned. According to Tyrone, he's fearsome. And ferocious. Let's see if I can talk to him. I still think it's odd that you can talk to animals, Luke. But since it's helping our investigation, I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Correct, I mean. Thanks, I guess. I hope he's not mean. Don't worry, tigers are just big house cats. With sharp teeth as big as house cats. Well, here goes. Growl, growl, growl. Growl, 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 growl. Hmm. Oh, I see. What is it, Luke? What did he say? He's having trouble solving a puzzle. Gar. Of course he is. Oh, look at them. Kitty solitaire. Look at them just wobbling. Lucky the black cat and her eight white kittens are sitting on a 5x5 five five board. Both Lucky and the kittens can jump over any kitten that is on a horizontally, vertically, or diagonally adjacent square. Jumping over a kitten removes that kitten from the grid. They're dead. Lucky is safe, though, as the little kittens can't jump over her. Can you jump and bounce the cats around so that only Lucky is left sitting alone in the middle? Yeah, you got it. Um, absolutely. So... First, you gotta do like maybe like a bit of this, maybe like um like a bit of this, maybe like a little bit of that, and then like um I think I've already fucked this up. Uh, go up here and then do that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like the way that I fucked it up again. Um. Me, you, you, this does work. When, well, do, do this, no, do this, do that, do that, and it's done. Be in the top left corner, that's what they said, right? That's what they wanted me to, that's what they wanted me to do. Sinkhead that broke the plate, yeah! Get him! I'm close... ish. Uh... 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 Shoot. No, no. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. 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 It's that pet game from Cracker Barrel. Don't get the later alligator ready. It needs a break. It's been getting a lot of use today. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah. It's not like this is the game that originated that bit. Other than later alligator, of course. But listen, it's fine when later alligator does it, because they they invented the idea of being bad at puzzles. No, not up there. I don't want to go up there. Maybe over here. Maybe over. Maybe. maybe. Damn. Uh, no, no, I'm, I yeah.
What kind of disc is Black Cat that appears sometimes turn out to be violent plot? Don't worry about it. I don't worry about anything. And look how I'm doing great. Not a care in the world. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Damn it. Damn it. I'm bad at this. Shit. The thing about these kinds of puzzles is that there's always, like, it's usually the first move is crucial. If you do the first move wrong, it's impossible. It's something like that. Sometimes there's multiple ways to get to it, but it's always, like, you have, if you get stuck doing the same thing. It's like you have to do something different. It's like, but, but I don't know what I'm doing different that I need to be doing different. And I'm sure there's been times where I'm in close to it and just messed up. But, hmm. W and V. So BTTV added modifiers. Yeah, as Wistful said. So it doesn't work on the on-stream chat, but if you have BTTV on your device, W makes the emote wide, V makes it flipped. Um... There's H to flip it horizontally, V to flip it vertically, and also Z, which removes the gap between multiple emotes. So if there's like a two-part or multiple part, normally there's a little gap between them, but you can remove that with Z, which is very situational. But for for example, you could activate a Guana and remove the gap between them. But again, it wouldn't show... In, in fact, it makes the gap worse here because now you have like a letter in the middle of it. So any chance? I don't know. I hope so. But um, I have no idea. That's on stream elements. I believe. Uh, I don't recall, B. I do not recall. I don't fucking know. You make it feel safer than lucky in the middle of the figure enough to make your move to solve this. First step is to make your jump four times in a row? You know, I did try that. Uh, or do you ever jump back into the middle? Probably not. Also, how else could I make her jump four times? Not that. Can't do diagonal. You could also jump through the middle. And then, like, over there. Oh, uh, the possibility space. Um. No. How can't. How. Mm. Yeah, shake him. Oh shit, you can make the cat spin. Oh. Oh, hold on. This is this requires some immediate. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that, no, that that's what I that's listen. No, 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 I'm good at this. I'm good. This, this puzzle I'm good at. That way. See, the spinning helps. Let me have a shot. I'm the professor's apprentice. You managed to get all the kittens off the board and leave only Lucky in the middle. Do you think she's glad to get some peace and quiet? She's doing a flip. Seems pretty happy. Eve of the Carnival. Purr. Gur gar gur gur gar gar. Wow, really? Gargura, really? 
What is it? Don't just say, wow, it's rude. Maurice is good friends with Mr. Dalston, and he's not fearsome or ferocious at all. He's actually quite polite. He says Mr. Dalston brings him treats and scratches him behind the ears. Mr. Dalston was here just last night. He played with Maurice after their show. Wow, who would have guessed? Is that true? Dalston has always loved animals. So if the circus had a show last night, the circus members couldn't have been helping the masked gentleman. I don't think Dalston would risk losing customers by creating a masked gentleman appearance on the night of a circus show. So if Dalston was here with Maurice, then he couldn't be the masked gentleman. That's what the evidence suggests. And what that guy said about him not being able to fit into the masked gentleman's pants. Unless that was like a euphemism. He didn't mean it literally. So we're back to square one. Perfect. Maurice the Ferocious. Bup. Oh. 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 Bup. Very good. Very good. Thank you for clipping that. <laughs> Appreciate it. Bup. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Maurice. There's got to be a better play on words for the name Maurice. Like Maurice the... You know... You know? The important clips. Thank you. Maurice the Horace. I don't like that. Maurice the Mauler. Maurice the Florist. Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. Florence and the Machine? Maurice the Merciless. Maurice Navidad. Tyrone, my good man. Maurice the Marvelous. Why, it's Mr. Dalston. Welcome to our humble circus. Please come in. I'm afraid our show doesn't start for a few hours, though. No, don't mind me. I just came by to drop off some snacks. Thank you kindly, Mr. Dalston. I've got something special for old Maurice as well. Hey there, old boy. I've brought some snacks for you. Is your tummy growling? Growl, growl, growl. Yeah, I thought as much. Growl. I hear you, Maurice. You know, I just don't understand it. That Lador is gaining on me hand over fist. His businesses have been thriving, and it's this mashed gentleman nonsense. I just don't know what to do. This mass maniac is going to ruin me. Tourists won't keep coming here if they feel they're in danger. Or will they? Nah, this city's just a pit of greed and cheaters. But it's my pit of greed and cheaters. Wow, wow. You said it, Maurice. You know what? I'm going to get you out of here someday. Go? And how about if I name my next hotel after you? Would you like that? Wow. Ah, then we're agreed once again. If business starts to pick up, you'll have your own place. Dalston's evil, I tell you. He's the fiend. It's night. Oh my, it's already dark out. I completely lost track of time. Professor, according to his warning, the masked gentleman's next appearance will be happening soon. Let's get to the Gallery Plaza. We should have told the police this. Yes, we should have. But first, the puzzle. Hey, do you like circuses? Have a flyer. One Ring Circus, live circus performers. Oh, it's you guys. Hello, I'm just passing out flyers. Again, and still. See these flyers with this cute little bear sticker? Wait a minute, huh? What happened to the bear sticker? Oh, they're very good. Dandy bears. Here's a 3x3 three three grid of some very dapper teddy bears indeed. It looks like they're arranged in a kind of pattern. Which bear fits into the empty square? A, B, C, or D? Um... Gah... 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 Um... Uh... A brown bear with sunglasses and a beret and the green ascot. Done. D. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge, to be sure. This is an incredible challenge. Hardest one yet. 
Those crafty dandies have arranged themselves so no two bears in the same roller column are wearing the same hat, glasses, or ribbon. It's a bear doku. Uh, su uh, su sudo sudokumo. Phew, that was a close one. Putting out posters and passing out flyers sounds like tough work. Sudokuma. There you go. Kuma. Passing out flyers sounds like tough work. It sure is, but I've got a plan. If I could fly like the masked gentleman, I could hand out flyers from the sky. I'd hand out all my flyers in seconds and spend the day, the rest of the day zooming around and fighting crime. Then I'd get promoted and I could wear a clown nose. That's an interesting plan, but how are you gonna fly? I haven't got that far, but if you find the masked gentleman, can you ask him about it for me? That seems like an unnecessarily dangerous way to hand out flyers. I recommend sticking to the ground. You're probably right. I just remember that I'm scared of flying anyway. I'm scared of noses too now I think about it. When it comes right down to it, I don't feel all that comfortable when I'm around flyers. Oh, you're all right, kid. You gotta be just fine. Ba -ba 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 to the plaza. They're like angel wings. Ma'am. Herschel, did you hear about that dastardly masked gentleman? He's everywhere. Everything will be okay, Esther. Just be sure to stay away from the gallery plaza. Oh, it's past my bedtime anyway. You're not going there, are you, little Herschel? Yes, I must continue my investigation. Your investigation? Oh, how adorable. Well, please be careful. If Lucille knew you were in danger, she'd worry herself sick. Remember that? Of course, Esther. I'll be careful. You don't worry about it. Anyway, it's a danger. Oh, this fucking guy. Do these neon lights highlight the dizzying perfection of my figure, or is it just me? I'm sorry, what was that? This is what peak physique looks like. Do you not appreciate fine art when you see it? Just look at my flawless nose, my glorious chin, my effortless smirk. And now that you mention it, your face does sort of look like a puzzle. <laughs> Professor! Oh, I wasn't trying to be rude. For a moment there, I thought I felt a puzzle coming on. Oh, oh, Leighton, whoa. You okay there, bud? You can't just say that. Let's just move on. I thought I felt a puzzle coming on is not something I ever wanted to hear Leighton say. Yowza. Watch that, mass gentlemen. You want me to read you the rights? Read you your rights? How about a couple of lefts? Kapow! Kapow! How'd it work, Roski? Just practicing my police talk. If you're looking for Bloom, he's off arguing with Sheffield somewhere. Is there a problem? These country bumpkins don't know the first thing about police work. We should be evacuating everyone from the plaza. No matter, I'm going to arrest the villain as soon as he appears. Apparently, the police were tipped off at some point. Very good, Grosky. Oh, very, very, very good. I'll get the villain, or my name isn't Inspector Clamp Grosky. And that is my name. His name is Clamp? Kind of, what kind of person names their kid Clamp? Angela, what are you doing here? I was worried, Herschel. But it's dangerous here. The masked gentleman could appear at any minute. If something is going on, I want to see it. We received a warning letter. It instructed Henry and me to come here. There seem to be more tourists here than usual. How do they know about this? Aren't they frightened? Curiosity can be stronger than fear. Do you think you'll show up, Professor? Well, the screen's dipping to black, so... Huh? Seems probable. <gasps> Professor, look up there! Huh? Huh? Five, six, seven, eight. No one can escape their fate. Huh? My god, he can count huh? and rhyme? He's walking on air! How is that possible? I don't believe it! It can't be! What is he doing up there? Is this really some type of magic? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your eyes do not deceive you. Leave the deception to your local leaders. Damn. 
Time to wake up, Monte Dor, and get enlightened. <laughs> They disappeared. <laughs> I love Layton's angry face. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> oh shit. Oh hey. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's dark miracle. Yeah. I strive to please. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good one. Montedor is not long for this world. Those who prosper by the mask must also wither by it. He he does pronounce it Monty Dor. I just want to state for the record, he does pronounce it Monty Dor. I do hope you'll be at my next show tomorrow. Stop by Pumpkin Park if you have time. He's Monty Mole's cousin. Monty Hall. Pumpkin Park? That's the amusement park here, right? I believe so. And with that, we have advance warning of the masked gentleman's next move. <laughs> Stupid masked gentleman? You told us where you're, where you're gonna be next. That can't be part of his plan. Ah, and look. It's the beautiful wife of the richest man in town. Say hello to Mrs. Angela Lador. She is not amused. Mrs. Lador, please grace us with your presence tomorrow. I suppose you can bring Mr. Lador, if you must. How does he know me? Oh, and don't forget to tell the tourists that the town is cursed. Sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. It's the greatest villain in the history of villains. Tell him it's cursed. Okay, bye. Those who stay jeopardize their lives. But those who leave risk missing the greatest show ever. My curse can be lifted if someone brings forth something to oppose my power. Perhaps another mask? Well, if he's the default Twitch smiley face, maybe there's a mask of, like, the Twitch pirate face? Like capital R, right parentheses? Maybe, oh, maybe it's the sad face. Maybe a gun. <laughs> maybe a gun. Bang. But the Mask of Order is another tale of woe, isn't it? There's a Mask of Order? That fights the Mask of Chaos? Until we meet again. The Mask of Order? It's the Mask of Comedy Tragedy, maybe it's just the theater nerd. That could be. Hmm. What is this Mask of Order? Is it some sort of compliment to the Mask of Chaos? Could that mean? So if we can get that mask, then we can stop the masked gentleman? Well, that's not going to be an easy task. The existence of the mask has never been verified. The song kind of reminds me of, um... Trauma Center. Now those are some ridiculous video games. Is this true, Herschel? Can this other mask stop this madness? Scalpel, please. Right, Jim, on the piano. Can this other mask stop the madness? I wonder. Well, what do you think, Layton? I don't think. I deduce. Two mysteries for the price of one. The Mask of Order. A medical themed Layton. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Donald Rutledge's Ancient Histories tells of the Mask of Order, a counterpart to the Mask of Chaos. If this can negate the powers of the Mask of Chaos, it could be the key to stopping the Masked Gentleman. But how to find it? I have my doubts about the Mask of Chaos and its powers, even more so when it comes to a mask that can counter it. The Levitation Incident. After apparently walking on thin air, the masked gentleman lifted onlookers into the air before making them vanish altogether. What tricks did he resort to in order to pull off this one? Probably swamp gas. Those people appeared to be swallowed up by the night sky. What was the trick here? Every incident so far has involved a number of accomplices. This one is surely no different. 
Let's see the thoughts on the other ones. Oh, it does. The gallery in the center of town was built on top of an oasis. The city probably then developed around this water source. It seems that many of the former inhabitants of Stansbury have moved to Monty Dor. That must have boosted the population. Um, the stone figures had been cleared from the street. The victims have yet to be identified. Police were examining a trail from a horse cart. Was that just a part of the parade? Hmm. The Mask of Chaos is popular. How can this give the masked gentleman the power to accomplish these feats? The Mask of Chaos was first studied by Donald Rutledge, but its purpose has never been fully understood. Apparently, the Mask of Order can counter the ma power of the Mask of Chaos. I'm not so sure how true this is. The Masked Gentleman started a month ago. Is likely the one who stole the Mask of Chaos from Henry's study, but for what? His warning letter to Dalston was similar to the one I received. The incidents we've seen thus far would necessi necessitate a large number of accomplices. That would take quite a bit of influence. Okay. Oh! Yeah, Don Powell is a good guy. Just what is going on here? Alphonse Dalston. <gasps> you were suspected of crimes against the city of Monte Dor. We like you to come with us. You can't do this, Sheffield. I have my rights. <sighs> Henry? Huh? Uh, Henry, I knew it was you! You sent me up with this stupid letter just to get me out here, because you're not mad enough to face me yourself! Coward! As long as I live, this city will not be harmed. The rest is irrelevant. It's always a good sign when the richest man in, in town can just... Tell the police to do whatever he wants them to do. I'm arresting the masked gentleman now. Well, see you later. Chief, he's getting away. Should we pursue? Let Grosky chase after that masked lunatic. We have the mastermind here. Yes, sir. Now then, the jig is up, Dalston. We know you're behind all this. We just don't know how exactly. I think his face gets smaller every time we see it. You can't be serious, Sheffield. Layton, back me up here. Chief Sheffield, if I may, the evidence we have at this point suggests that... Layton, your personal connection here means you're too close to this. No offense, but I believe your judgment is clouded. The truth is, Dalston is in love with Mrs. Lador. Has been for years. That's why he's trying to bring Henry down. Chief, with all due respect, I must say that this theory is preposterous. Keep your respect, Layton. I'm making an arrest. How should we play this, Dalston? I'll go with you. I have nothing to hide. We'll see about that. I want to say something to Henry. At least grant me that. Fine, but make it quick. Henry, I knew you were a no-good sneak, but this is low, even for you. Setting me up like this? Will the man who has everything stop at nothing? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Eighteen years ago, you sent Randall into those ruins. Yeah, I know about that. I know what you do to people who get in your way. Accidents can be so convenient, eh? You're the lowest of the low, Henry. After Randall was out of the picture, you took all the treasure for yourself. Funny how that worked out. Your nonsense doesn't dignify a response. And as if that wasn't enough, you forced Angela to marry you. Do you really think she loves you after everything you've done? Angela may be your wife, but I know not a day goes by she doesn't blame you for Randall's death. You stole the treasure, you stole Angela, you stole Randall's life. You couldn't be more wrong. Really? Then ask her. Ask Angela who's behind the masked gentleman. Your own wife is sabotaging your little town right in front of your nose. That's enough, Dalston. Let's go. This isn't over, Lador. You'll pat for this. Henry. Don't, Angela. It's fine. Let's go home. All right. Come on. Well, we speak with Detective Bloom. Mr. Dawson was pulling the strings of the masked gentleman the whole time. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Yep. Yeah. And just always looks indifferent. Yeah. So we finally caught the guy behind the masked gentleman. Now I can finally ask for a day off. 
The moment the Minecraft man pops up on screen, all tension's gone. Yeah. Layton, you look troubled. Is there something on your mind? Alphonse Dalston is innocent, detective. We have a witness who can prove it. Bring this witness here, please. Uh, well, I don't think we can. Yes, that might prove difficult. But even without the witness, the evidence suggests that Dalston is innocent. If Dalston is innocent, then the real perpetrator is still out there somewhere. Didn't need to turn down that much. Now that we have Dalston in custody, uh, if another dark miracle happens, we'll know we have the wrong man. Genius! Arrest everyone in town one by one until the miracles stop. I'm sorry, but this is the only way. Please join us tomorrow morning for Dalston's interrogation. Good night. Well then, I suppose that is that. Let's retire to our hotel for the night. Okay. Professor, will you continue your story about Randall and the mask? We might be able to learn something useful. Very well. Where were we? Ah, yes, the Mask of Chaos. Randall had discovered an ancient code that led to a very large puzzle. Little did we know that solving it would set off a chain of events that would change all of our lives forever. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot. Professor? I have to save my game, Luke. You, you, you what? Okay, I've, I've saved my game, Luke. Where was I? Uh, I don't... Chapter 4, Angela's Tears. Mm-hmm. They just finished it. No, I think he's just like, well, time for bed. <laughs> so we went to Randall's late at night. The end. What are we supposed to make of this? What is this, Randall? Oh, it's nothing. It's only the great secret of the Norwell Wall. The Norwell Wall? What about it? I'll tell you what about it. I didn't say a boot. I, Randall Ascot, have cracked the code of the Norwell Wall. But people have been working on that for years, Randall. Are you certain about this? Well, this certainly isn't the reaction I was hoping for. Come on, this is big! The Norwell Wall was a major find when it was first discovered. Stansbury's on the verge of fading into obscurity, but with this, we'll be the talk of England again. Now wait a second, Randall. If you've really discovered this secret, why, don't you, why didn't you tell us about it earlier? I had to be certain. It wasn't easy being so patient. I couldn't wait to see the looks on your faces. These unimpressed looks. Well, th that will change. Look, as we all know, the ancient Norwell Wall lies on, the, uh, lies on the outskirts of town. It was discovered when developers were clearing out the forest there 30 years ago. All sorts of experts flooded Stansbury, hoping to be the first to decipher the ancient script carved into the wall. And they all failed. For years, no one could figure it out. Eventually, everyone assumed there was no solution. It went from big news to a mere novelty over the years, but that's about to change. Because of all this. How did you solve it, Randall? I could tell you, but I'd much rather show you. Let's go to Norwell. What, now? You want to go to the Norwell Wall now? We can't do that. Why not? No risk, no glory. Look, let's just slip out of here now. We'll argue about it on the way there. Genius. <laughs> you say you don't want to go. Let's argue about that on our way to the destination. Okay, that's settled. We're not going. We're here. All I can see up there are piles of old things related to archaeology. I see you've taken an interest in my treasure. Treasure? It's a crate full of broken pots and goodness knows what. What an incredibly dangerous loft to just have stairs leading to a platform. Oh, good. Stealing Randall's coins. You walked right into my puzzle trap! You fool, Layton! Oh, no. Is it a sliding block puzzle? Oh, thank God it's one of these again. That's fine. Pokem Totems 2! What's this? Another prankster? There should be four columns arranged in the picture that is in the top right, like a staircase. It should be yellow, blue, green, red. You bunna grabemberary. Can you help once again to restore these magnificent columns? No, you can never hit the top block in a column. Easy. Lamau. Don't even... Don't even make me... Don't even make me... Um... Uh... This one? And... Um... 
de 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 this one perfect okay um so first knock this guy over there knock this guy over here okay that's wrong okay first one of these and then one of the these one of Heed not the rabble Thank you. who scream. Here's my grandson. That is, in fact, not their grandson. Don't let them take my grandson. They are teenagers. It isn't possible. Don't let them be your grandpa. Oh, yeah, looks like they're on oh, yeah. Thank you. You had it? Did I have it? I didn't think I had it. Thank you for the hammy, Sargo. The true fool is the pool that goes to the loo without thinking about Peru. Look, I tried. Thank you, Sangon. That's very kind. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, if I had it, then let me just redo what I did before. Like, I remember, because I definitely remember. Um, nope, not that. So it was, it was like one of these guys this way, and then one of these guys like this way. This doesn't seem right, though. Was it a different time? Different sign? I'm doing pool instead of well. I'm just. I feel that. Not this attempt. Which time? Which one? When I did right first. And then left. This one. And then. No, this can't be it. Nope, lost it. Great. Good. Then, in that case, let's just suffer, shall we? Maybe it's like this. Perfect. Nailed it. It was close. You were close. Hmm. 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 No. Fuck. What about that? Then this? Then this? Wait, that's not I'm even not a puzzle. Certain. Did I get it? Wait, that was an easier solution than the first version of this puzzle. You just you just you just Okay. I was overthinking it. I was thinking I would have to like line it up and then like knock them over so like three line up where they're supposed to be. And it's like, no, just like hit them where they need to go. Why do you have this in your room? Great archaeologists have this kind of stuff all over the place. I think you're missing the point, dear. Yeah, no. Do you really need this stepladder lying around? How else would I be able to reach the top? Are you sure it's stable? It feels wobbly. This wall illustrates Randall's enthusiasm. I'm sorry, did you say something about my mural of musings? Don't you get in trouble for writing all this graffiti? That is just written onto the wall, isn't it? I just thought he had a whiteboard up. No, that is actually just on the wall. Books and archaeology, rows and rows of them. Herschel, have I finally piqued your interest? Randall's passion for archaeology is no secret. How nice of you to take an interest in my perfectly hidden puzzle. Let me guess, now I must solve it. Now, don't be like that. Finders keepers. Puzzles. Beepers. 54. Archaeological feet. An archaeological archaeologist uncovered six artifacts at this dig site 
at points marked A to F. Unfortunately, in the heat of discovery, he completely forgot to make a note of where each artifact was found. On the plus side, he did at least have a record of the order in which they were found. Jug, necklace, dish, axe, sword, and wood block. Can you work out where they were found? So I, I, got, I gotta figure out the order based on where the feet, the feet steps, where the footsteps go. I think B is the first one? The, uh, yeah. Yeah, B's the first one. Um, so it was Jug first. Buh. And then from B to D, Necklace. Necklace. And then Dish. Dish C. Axe, Sword, Wood, Block. Axe, sword, uh, wood block. Wait, I just, wait. No, yes. A to F, then E. All right. I'm not certain. Did I get it? One. Correct. Careful note. Taking is essential on digs like this. Did it. Well, how did I do? Haha, -ha, one. Brilliant! Pure brilliance! Where do you get all these puzzles from? I could tell you, but where's the fun in that? You just cut them out of a magazine, didn't you? Yeah, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Whoa! A shimmering lens. I didn't have my bunny to tell me I missed the thing. Where's my time traveling bunny? When I need him. Alright. Phew! We made it, and father's none the wiser. Shouldn't we bring a flashlight? Norwell's in the forest. Oh, we'll be fine. The stars are out, and we're not going that deep into the forest. This is crazy, Randall. That's the spirit, Herschel, to Norwell. Good. You mean torch? Yeah. The hell's a flashlight? Were you American? Ew. Where are you three sinking off to? Well, Dalston, we're writing our names in indelible ink upon the future of archaeology. Why don't you join us? Hey, psych trickster. A lighty whitey. A, a, a photon tube. What makes you think I'd ever do that? I, you lot enjoy a little adventure. Have it your very dull way. I was just about to share a great discovery with you. I'll stay here in reality, Brad Scott. You enjoy your make-believe world. Gladly. Once I've mastered the past, the future will be all the more enjoyable. Come on, Randall. We're in a hurry, remember? Goodbye, Alphonse. Old lady's got a puzzle. Old lady's got a puzzle. Old lady's got a puzzle. Why aren't the three of you at home where it's safe? Good evening, Miss Esther. We should, we could ask you the same thing. I was just taking some corn to my neighbor, but these bugs have taken a shining to it. They've chewed holes through this cob. You ever take some midnight corn to your neighbor? Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Red and blue ladybug friends seem to have lost sight of each other on another corn cob. This time they have only kernels blocking the way, but they must find their way through tiny tunnels that go right through the cob and come out the other side. Shit. How am I supposed to know if it's the right tunnel or not? It's not. Good God. Oh, come on. When did corn become common in England? Uh, you know, about 18... Seven. Uh, uh. Eighteen corns ago. Four corn and eighteen corns ago. Now hold on. Can I just go right back in? And then keep going through? 
Ho ho. Perhaps, perhaps this is where, oh, great. Fuck you. The bite of 18-7. We're getting warmer-ish. Maybe. And maybe it's that guy there? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But that would that I think may maybe from here over to here. Show me the ladybug, yay. Here's my answer. Give him the corn. There is no puzzle without a solution. Well done. Let's hope they stay close in the future. And get off my corn! Don't stay out too late, children. Have a good evening, Esther. I'll see you in 18 years. In a city that doesn't exist yet. Esther, what are you... What are you talking... Don't mind her. She's had her late night corn. Let's see. It is a maze maze. Young Randall, what would your father say if he saw you out here so late? Oh, we're going home soon, Lionel. We just thought we'd come by to say hello to our favorite Lionel. Oh, that's awful nice of you. How about a little puzzle then, eh? I love this little man. Look at him. Oh, man. Puzzle 58. How many boxes are there? A carpenter is sorting a stack of 10 large blocks. He bought a mixture of heavy and light blocks, but mixed them up at the checkout, and I can't tell which are which. What's the minimum number of times you have to individually lift boxes in order to separate the light ones from the heavy ones? Oh. I hate these ones. Uh, three. Leave this to me. I have faith in chat. No. Too bad. Make sure you haven't overlooked anything. I mean, I, I put in the right answer. I don't know why that was incorrect. The game is wrong. Nintendo, please patch. The other three. The other three, which is six. Leave this to me. Two threes. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Right three in the other box. Thirty. Of course. All right. All right. Well, if I use my brain, then it'd be um um. He's got 10 large blocks. Mm-hmm. Uh... What if he- what if he lifted, like, this one, and then this one, and put it onto this guy? And then did that again, and again? And then lifted this guy? And then... Lifted this guy over onto that, and then this guy, and then this one, and this one. Isn't that just nine? <laughs> this is lifting all of them minus one. I, which is three threes. Leave this to me. There's no way that's the right answer. Too bad. You're gonna be so fucking mad. Is it? Is it bullshit? Is it not? There's a smart way to do it. Is it? <sighs> What's the goal? He has 10 large blocks. Pictured in. Eh. He bought a mixture of heavy and light blocks, but he mixed them up and can't tell which are which. What is the minimum number of times you have to lift blocks to separate light from heavy? I don't even know how many of each there are. Is it 10? Is it 10 because he doesn't know? Because I'm thinking, oh, nine, and then the last one you know. But he doesn't know how many he bought? Is that part of the puzzle? How exciting! Just leave it to me. Ten. I'm less excited to see Lionel on this evening. But I did get a new robot toy level. Wasn't that a good one? 
I was upset, but then I got to see your beautiful face again, Lionel. I'm no longer as upset. A tad on the easy side, perhaps. Well, we should be going, Lionel. But you only got, like, two-thirds of the possible pick rats. Gotta go, Lionel. See you later. Thanks for the easy puzzle. You be sure to keep up and the young lady out of trouble, Herschel. Actually, Lionel, my father doesn't know we're out. Could you please not mention you saw us? Oh, a secret? Of course, young Randall. You can count on me. Thank you, Lionel. Mother sneaks vegetables and everything. I only like vegetables you can dig up. You boys are too fussy. Time wasted. No. Yeah, it's things that Leighton commented on earlier, but now we have more party members. All information a coffee lover would wish for. There might be some archaeological info in here, or not. Are there really this many types of beans? Coffee beans. Root vegetables and bulbs are great. He's not wrong. Ahoy there! What are you three up to? We're just taking a brisk walk to stimulate our intellectual appetites. Well, I've got something for hungry brains right here. Puzzle 59, Flowery Footpath. The tiles on the street are rather faded. Can you help out and replace them with some fresh tiles? Tiles are already stuck together in several larger pieces. The pattern is the same as the old one. It doesn't have to be oriented the same way. Oh, and you can rotate each section. Oh, good. Oh, sweet Jeebus. Um. Yeah, probably that. Oh, oh well. Well, you sure could. With all the gumption you could gander. Um, that's not correct. I need two. Don't I need two visible? Maybe not. Maybe? That doesn't seem right. Well, I'll just keep working on it. Um, this is gonna go in the middle somewhere. This, that doesn't. That doesn't. Did I fuck up the, like, second one I put down? This, this seems all sorts of wrong. But I'll just keep going with it. Nope, we're good. All that panic was for nothing. Phew! How exciting! Yeah! Just leave it to me. What a puzzle. Well done. Hey, you young people are so clever these days. So what are you sneaking around for? Sneaking? There's no sneaking. We're strolling. Just strolling along. Sneakily. Ha, can't fool me, boy. You're going off exploring without your father's permission again, aren't you? Well, technically, yes. You won't tell him, will you, Doug? He'll just worry if he knew. Well, not waiting for an answer. Bye! You're complicit in whatever we do now. T. No archaeologist could live without it. Let's stop for a bite to eat next time it's open. Uh. Ah. Somebody must have left a puzzle out here. That's some... No, wrong. Somebody hid it there on purpose. It was you, wasn't it? I was gonna do this as a joke. Someone left a puzzle here, and I was gonna be like, ah, that someone was me, Randall, puzzle master. But that's actually what he did. He left a puzzle in a bush. Puzzle number 60, dangerous holes. Somebody puzzled all over the place here. The town square has been puzzled. There are six huge holes at this dig site. It's a bit dangerous for people to be working with these big holes around, so you want to use a single length of rope to cordon off all the holes from A to F. Stakes have been placed across the site. Tie the rope around the stake so that it runs from the starting stake to the finishing stake and encloses each hole. We're using as little rope as possible. No diagonals are doubling back. Okay. Okay. From starting to the ending. Okay, so then... Like, um... Yeah, like, like this. Oh shit, wait. Oh no. Oh no, wait. 
Yep. Wait, no. Wait, no. Oh god. Yep. Wait. Yep. Done. Is this as efficient as it can possibly be? Time to find I out. I think this may be it. Sure. Why not? Looks as if I got it. Correct. One possible solution shown above. Now they can work in safety. You just stake by numbers. Easy. Easy when you know how, isn't it? Brando, please don't litter the village with puzzles. It's bad for the environment. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, puzzles have an environmental impact? Oh, this changes things. Oh, no. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> oh. Layton became that which he hates. The chicks have flooded the nest. I read about how swallows build nests. Herschel's already familiar with that, dear. Great. Puzzle warning. There's the forest, within it lies the Norwell Wall. Every puzzle widens the hole in the ozone layer. Shit. Yes, we know, Randall. We live here too, remember? Yes, but I was saying that out loud in case you ever tell this as a story to someone later and they need that context. Could we speed this up a bit, Randall? I do need to get home soon. You two have no thirst for the dramatic. What's wrong with a little showmanship? Some enthusiasm wouldn't hurt, you know. Into the forest. Which, is, of course, is a puzzle. The gate is locked. It's probably meant to keep out irresponsible teenagers with too much time and curiosity. Oh, wait a second! Take a look at this lock. It's a puzzle! It's a jigsaw puzzle of two pieces. A lock and a key. Padlocked fence. The giant puzzle island floating in the Pacific. The gate is secured by a sturdy padlock with an unusual code. To open the lock, Randall must propose to Leighton. Oh. Really, Randall? That's what it says. Well, I, I, I suppose if you insist, Randall. I, uh, I, it's, I don't insist. The puzzle insists, Leighton. It, that is how the puzzle... Oh, look, it unlocked. To open the lock, Leighton and Randall need to rearrange the nine panels so every vertical, horizontal, and diagonal set of three adds up to the same sum. It might look impossible, but there are more numbers on the back of the panels. Move and flip the panels to enter the code and help our heroes unlock the padlock. Oh, yeah, math. Whoa! So we got a lot of twos and one a three. Last fry. Do not it belongs to me. One last fry. Time paradox. Don't even look at it. I'm gonna dip it in a little chop, a little chop, and watch you cry. No, you must yeah. cry. Oh, Thank you, Sargoto, for the hammy. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Time Parox. Bum, bum, ba, da, da. Bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna see if I can do five. I'm gonna see if I can do five. I'm gonna see if I can do five. Oh, that's almost it. Um. Hmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Hmm, no. Hmm, damn it. Maybe six? Or is it three? Is it five? I don't know. I wasn't, my brain didn't think of how I could fix it making it add up to five. I guess I can slide them around too. I should probably keep that in mind. Fuck. That might be what I needed to do. Because five seems doable. I got almost all of them added to five, so... Um... Yeah, you, you, sure? You, sure. Another two, th yeah, and then... Get this guy, get this guy a one, am I right? Um, wait, that can't be, because this can't be... No, wait, no, that, yeah. Uh, well, no. Two can't be in the middle. At least not in the current configuration. What if it was a one? 
And then... Yeah! Shoot. Um... <laughs> I don't get the premise. Um, I need to arrange the nine panels so every vertical, horizontal, and diagonal set of three numbers adds up to the same sum. It's a magic square. Yes, that is the name of the puzzle. There's different variants of it. Um. Hmm. Wait, that's not right. Shoot. It does seem like it needs to add up to five, right? Just write your own number. Yeah, just carve them in. It does look like an engagement photo, though. Doesn't it? It does. Yeah, Sudoku's though. I know. Sudoku's have diagonals, don't they? No, they don't. <laughs> it's, it's, I was like, there's another thing. No, it's, it's each cell of a nine has to have one of each number. It's every row, column, and individual cell has the numbers one through nine. It's no, no addition in Sudoku. Why can't every block be two? Uh, because some are only one or three. And some are one or two. I figured six, because I mean... Th Let me try six. Because then you can have three, two, one, as well as two, two. Um... Well, this is not... No. Anybody got any more twos? Yeah, there you go. And then... This is not correct, but it's close. I just need the diagonals to add up. Which they don't at present. Hmm. Two in the middle? Two's in the middle? That's what I currently have. Well, Lena jumped the fence. <laughs> it's like, I went to the wall and back. Sucked. It was bad. You all think Proposal went straight to pick the lock on his chastity belt. Yowza. <laughs> Saw bottom two and one. Done. But now I have this column on the right here, which is way too high. Um... Also, this column on the left no longer adds up to six. Professor locked up on the midnight proposal. That sounds spicy. Darn it. You know, you know, just like sheesh, darn. Wow. Um... Hmm. Make a plus of twos. Okay. And then... Nope. Wait. I can't do a plus of twos. Because then I'm left with not enough numbers. No, I don't think it can be a plus of twos. Yeah. I don't think that works. Let me start. And I'm just gonna have it tell me what to start with. Because I'm... Dumb. Six! You should be arranging them so it lines up to six. I know. Here are the diagonal combinations. One, two, two, those are three, two, one from top to bottom. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. 
Where are my fucking twos? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So once there's two, once three, two, one. And then the... These guys need to be... And there she needs to be a three. Is that it? I think so. Here's my answer. There is no puzzle without a solution. It's easy when they give you more than half of the answer. <laughs> There's a few valid solutions. Every line of the three digits adds up to six. As each panel is only three possible digits, you don't have to consider many three digits holes to consider. Yeah. I did spend a lot of time thinking it was five, because I almost got it with five. And then I was like, well, that's gotta be it. Which is, that's me every time I struggle with a puzzle for more than two seconds, is like, I was close, and then got obsessed with thinking that that was the correct path. And it's always like, no, don't, don't. It's trapping you in a box, and you gotta think outside of that. Six was smart. Yes, we're in. Nice work. I'm impressed, Randall. You have a natural talent for cracking locks. You make it sound as if I'm some sort of common thief. Hee <laughs> hee. If the padlock fits. Enter the woods. This wasn't a slide puzzle. There's plenty of time for slide puzzles. The Norwell Wall is just up this path. We should have brought flashlights. Again, with the fl What are you, American? I agree. Which is why I mentioned it before we left. I mean, to be fair, this was localized for an American audience. And if they were walking around the woods saying, we should have brought torches. If I played this game as a kid, I would have been like, Torch? What are you... What year is it? Are you cavemen? What are you walking around with torches for? So I get it. I'm sure there was a heated discussion <laughs> about whether to translate it as, li as a, a, a flashlight or torch. This game was made before Britain was invented. Well, Britain was made as a reference to the Leighton games. So, yeah, it's a little bit. Art influencing life and vice versa. I agree, which is why I mentioned it before we left. Come on, it's fine. Just follow the path. See, there's even a sign over there. That sign has seen better days. The, the dangling roots look easy to climb. That's what Dalston said before he fell and bruised his ego. We've scaled it before. I can't recall that the proper term for that tree. This spindly spindericus has grown quite a bit. Oh, Randall, you know that's not its name. I want to see him get away with it. Yeah, 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 uh, oh. oh my god, so many hint coins, so little time coins. Hmm, this sign needs some work. Even if any tourists got this far, they wouldn't know where to go from here. Let's fix the sign for the ne next group that trespasses. What do you say? The excellent idea, Leighton. Let's leave evidence of our crimes. 62. Shattered sign. All the tiles on the signpost fell off. Herschel and his friends need to put the sign back the way it was. Help them find help them out by moving and rotating the tiles to fix the sign. Um. 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 Uh. Well, th this seems to. Connect to, to this, maybe? Oh. Maybe, maybe that? Yeah. And then, um... Uh... Oh, it's, it's a, it's a hand. Oh... Oh, 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 wait. Wait. Um... Yeah. Yeah, 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 meh. Then you know it's facing that way because there's a bit painted on the right of it. Make it do on a finger. No. I'm not certain. That's how Leighton learned to point. Did I get it? He was pointing up and then he saw a sign. He's like, What the? <gasps> That's the origin story of his famous point. 
Give yourself a big hand. Left is the way to go, right? There we go! Why was it in pieces like that? The wood is still rather sturdy. Well, uh, I might have knocked it over in my excitement last time I was here. You are the clumsiest archaeologist I've ever seen. You brought- you knocked it over and it broke off into perfect squares? Hey, the sign looks better now. Neat. It's looking as good as new. Yes, I think we fixed it up nicely. Seriously, who'd bother reading a sign in this neck of the woods? Anyone but you, Randall. Anyone but you. Very specific talents. Wait, what's that? Randall, where are you going? Randall, be careful. Why is he... Why, being in this forest, it makes me want to sing. Randall, no! Are these fungi edible? Maybe I ought to take a bite and see. Don't you dare, I would never forgive you if something bad happened. There's no red flags so here, everything's fine. I got a canned lunch! Delicious. Yeah. Wait, so if you miss any of those collectibles in the past, do they become unobtainable? Like, could you beat the game with your collection being like everything but one thing that you physically can't get anymore because it was in the past? You don't time heist them. So then one if you miss them, they're gone? This is why I'm not a completionist. Unobtainium. You can return the post game. Uh, okay. We really live out in the middle of nowhere, eh? The perfect environment for finding rare items. Have a good one, Sir Dan. Go charge your laptop or your, your tablet. I just hope we don't find any creepy crawlies. Uh, 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 Whoa. Yeah. Uh, 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 Okay. It's nice of them to give you a time machine when you beat the game. Look at this! Footprints everywhere. How many sets are there? Looks as though whoever left these prints made their way over the bridge. It was probably a group of confused tourists. Or dancing ones. I wonder how many of them there were. Hmm. Oh my god. A muddy mesh. Here's a bridge at the side of a river. The ground's all muddy, so you can see the footprints left by the people who've been here recently. None of them seem to have had the same footwear. You tell me people crossed the bridge? Two. Here goes. Puzzles can be quite fun. Thank God. If it wasn't two, I was gonna lose my mind. Only two people crossed the bridge. There might be a lot of footprints in front of the bridge, but there's only two footprints on the bridge itself. Two sets of footprints. I thought they were gonna be like, look, one person dipped their feet in the river first, and I was gonna be like, I, you fucking, don't you dare. That is, that is, late, like, one of the three tricks Leighton always throws at you. It's like, look! Look at all these complicated details. By the way, the simple answer is right here. Or, you fell for the simple answer? Duh, that's very silly of you. It's the more complicated answer is the right one. So you can't really rely on it, but they do like to throw that at you. Well done, Harsher. You've quite a knack for this. I have quite a knack too as well on PlayStation 4. It was nothing. You could have done it. Randall always has puzzles on the brain. Of course I do. The world's full of puzzles. And we are but a few steps from one of the greatest puzzles of them all. Let's go! To the wall! There it is. The Wall of Norwell. What does it all mean, Randall? I love Leighton's hair. I don't have it all quite worked out yet. But I have decoded some of the glyphs, and I'm certain that this entire wall is one big map. Have a look, Herschel. Tell me you see it. A map to where? That's the question, isn't it? But the greater question is, Herschel, do you like puzzles? <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. I should have expect. I should have expected that. 
Frankly, I'm surprised at myself for not expecting this. Uh, I love this universe where everyone is obsessed with puzzles. It's good. It's good. It's a good game. Yay. Yay. Mm. Yay. Mm. 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 This is a nice song. Yay. Oh, that's the... Yeah. Okay, that's part of the... Okay, that's fine. Randall, if you're right about this, then you've truly made a major step in the field of archaeology. That's what I've been saying! The pattern isn't clear, but it's there, all right. Take a look at this. What is it? It's a transcription of these symbols. Look closely, Herschel. Does this remind you of anything you've seen? Maybe recently? Hmm. Hmm. The fossil we reconstructed from Mr. Collins. It's the same thing, isn't it? Yes, it's the same basic principle. Cut your image into squares, mix them up, voila. The so-called experts overlooked such a simple solution. Incredible. Just incredible, Randall. You haven't seen anything yet, Herschel. Wait until you solve this puzzle. What is it? I could tell you, but I'd rather show you. Will you marry me? Damn it! Puzzle 64! Norwell's secret. Here's a copy of the characters inscribed on the wall divided up into 16 squares. Arrange the design to fit to complete the inscription within a 4x4 four four square. You can move them in sets of four squares. Rearrange the piece of paper by aligning the symbols to complete the carving. Put the inscription in the center when you're done. Oh, good. Good, great. Done. This one was a nightmare one. It was simpler. Oh, jeez. Um. Oh. Goo. Time for my old favorite technique of slide some shit around and see what happens. Um. Yay. Done. I solved your puzzle. Why this drink like- Why can't they just drink and smoke weed in the woods like normal teens? This is so much more destructive to society. Um. Let me try to think. Which is not ever a good idea. But... Those seem to connect. Right? No, they don't. How do I... I... Having done this once, I feel zero confidence. Because in a picture sliding block puzzle where you're trying to, like, rearrange them, it's I, like, I've learned from doing them how to, like, do a little spin and, like, move them where you need them to go. With this contraption... If I'm like, oh, I have this guy in the top right, you can't see what I'm doing. If I'm like, if this guy here, I want to move him like down one. I have no idea how to do that. I don't have. A it's like I'm like, okay, I can like move it over. No, I can. Yes, I need to remove one from the bottom of this, and then move him down one, which I can't do. I need to move him down one, then. How? How? I don't know. I don't know. It's like a flat Rubik's Cube. Do you know the, what picture you're supposed to make? Absolutely not. No. Which also makes it worse, because... I just know the shapes will... Here goes. Fuck you! Absolutely fuck you! Puzzles can be quite fun. <laughs> Absolutely fuck you! I hit reset and touched the stylus, what, twice? I hate this game. I'm gonna spend the rest of the stream just staring at this. <sighs> the lines of the ancient inscriptions seem to create some kind of map superimposed on the map as a diagram the shape of the Big Dipper, the brightest seven brightest stars of Ursa Major. Big Dipper's colony refused to find Polaris the North Star. Does it also point to something else here? 
Uh, Excellent! Did you know that you could solve that in one accidental step? That's how I solved it. Yeah, me too, Randall. I knew you could do it, Herschel. I'm so lucky to have a brilliant best friend. As you can see, this whole wall is a giant map pointing to a very particular spot. It doesn't look detailed enough to be that useful as a map. Take another look. The shapes beneath the star chart match the terrain beyond the hills where all the ruins are. I followed this map a few days ago. It took me over the hills to a spot where I started digging. And lo and behold, I found the mask. It was like a foot underground, apparently. If a child could dig it up by himself. Wait, so you went off into those ruins alone? Randall, you promised you wouldn't do anything dangerous. I know, I'm sorry, Angela, but look! What is this? I copied it out of ancient histories. See? The symbol on the mask is exactly the same as the one in the book. Do you know what this means? It's proof that this mask was made by the Azran. Rutilage also wrote of another mask related to the Mask of Chaos, but... Let's not get carried away, Randall. The symbol could just be a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. This mask was inside a box, and next to it, there was a stone tablet. Again, a lot of mileage out of that sound effect. Using the markings on the tablet as a key, I was able to decipher the markings on the inside of the mask. Wow, Randall, I must say you've done uh, some serious impressive... You've done some very impressive work here. Is the science of archaeology just about solving a series of puzzles? Angel, stop breaking the fourth wall and be excited about this! God! You haven't even heard the best part. The mask isn't just some old relic. The mask itself is actually a key. It's part of a pu Angela, come back. Angela, where are you going? It's part of a puzzle. A key that opens a vault that houses the secret treasure of the Azran civilization. Yes, Aslan from Narnia. Randall, do you honestly believe that some incredible treasure trove has just been lying around for centuries? After studying the mask, I'm sure of it. This mask predates any civilization that we have evidence of. And the Azran were scientifically adept and may have possessed technology even more advanced than ours. We're on the verge of unearthing the legacy of what was perhaps the most advanced civilization in all of human history. Take a look at this. These are my notes decoding the writing on the mask. I've rechecked them many times. The Azran left behind this for us. From these symbols, it's clear that the engraving on the inside of the mask is a map into the deepest parts of the ruins. And where does it go? A legendary site that has eluded explorers for millennia, the great city of Akbadain. Akbadain? What's that? Akbadain, these nuts! This was all a ruse to set you up for that joke. I'm going home. By the way, police are here. You're out after curfew. Good night. The resting place of the treasure! Are you guys even listening to me? Akbadain awaits! Angela get wrecked! And that's why she's the villain in the present. She's getting revenge on Randall. She pushed him in off a cliff. And blamed Leighton for it. And that's why the story- that's, that's what happened. Randall, of course I'm listening to you and I want to believe you, but you can't just go in there alone. It's too dangerous. We're wasting valuable time. You don't want to come? Fine. Then just go home. You don't have to be so mean, Randall. It's just that we should think about this. You don't know what's down there. But since you won't listen to me... Angela! She just... Whoop! What are you... Give that back! Blast! If she breaks that mask, I... I'll... Come on, Herschel. Help me catch her. We need to get that mask back. All right, but this conversation isn't over. Angela? My head starts to spin just looking up at it. And nobody knows who built it. Doesn't it get your mind racing? Maybe it was a prank. Maybe it was a goof. Angela! Angela! Wow, oh, she really hoofed it. Angela, come on, Angela, where are you? I don't see her anywhere. This is ridiculous. Let's keep looking. Where are you? And I'm not sorry. You running off reminds me of a puzzle. 
You boys looking for Angela? She went flying that away. Not literally, of course. Come on, Herschel, let's -a go. Randall, calm down. She probably just went over to Memory Knoll. Oh boy, what kind of trouble are you kids into now? Memory Knoll? It's impossible to go there without monologuing about the past. Good luck, kid. Hello there, lads. What's the hurry? Lionel, did you see Angela go by? Angela? Why, yes, she came speeding by. She said she was headed to your house. She was quite upset. What did you boys say to her? My mother always says a lady is to be treated like a delicate... Sorry, Lionel. We're in a hurry. Thanks. Well, I hope you're rushing to apologize... to me. Lionel! You don't deserve that, Lionel. I'm sorry. Hey, Angela just ran by her crying her little eyes out. What gives? We don't have time to explain, Dalston. Which way did she go? She looked like she was going to your place. Had some creepy mask with her. Thanks, Dalston. And it's not creepy. Is that this way? Oh. Angela. Angela. Come on now. Give me the mask. You're acting like a... Like a bitch. There now. There's no need to cry. Everything will be fine. Just trust me. Hmm. Huh? You sound just like oh. my brother. Before he left. She has brother? And he never came back, Randall. <laughs> I know I said I wouldn't do anything dangerous, but sorry. I need that mask, Angela. I'm not sorry, sorry about what happened to your brother, but I'm not him. Randall, can we just drop this for now? No, Herschel, we can't. Look, Angela, I know this is hard for you, but please... Shouldn't expect anything else from late in game. Nope. Please what? <laughs> Please different. let you go and endanger yourself while I just sit here and wait for you to never come back? Yep. I will come back. I promise. I have to do this, Angela. I can't just live in my father's shadow my entire life. I need this. And I need your help to do it. Randall. It's all right, Miss Angela. Master Randall will return. I know it. Oh, Henry. You startled me. I didn't know you were there. It's not oh, Henry. It's just Henry. You needn't worry, Miss Angela. Master Randall said this would be his last expedition. Isn't that right? Well, that seems very ominous in hindsight. Uh, yes? Did you really say that, Randall? Really, really? You wouldn't lie about this, right? Uh, of course. This will be my last and greatest trip into the ruins. Angela, please. All right. As long as you and so it was. not to do anything dangerous or stupid. Stupid and dangerous. Got it. Bye. Give me the mask. See nothing you dangerous. And Herschel here will make sure I don't do anything stupid. Well, I, well, um... When have I ever prevented you from doing anything stupid, Randall? I... I need to go home. I'm exhausted. Please, be careful. Always. Henry, would you mind escorting Angela home? Not at all. So, Herschel, we're going to unearth the most important archaeological find in history. Aren't you excited? This is Leighton's excited face. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's go back to my place and make sure we have enough supplies. All right. I do hope you intend to keep your promise, Randall. Moonlit rendezvous. Ho, ho, ho. What happened on this moonlit rendezvous? What indeed? Two youths engage in a lover's tiff. A snapshot in time of a bittersweet moment. What happened? 
Where on earth is he? Sorry I'm late. I was discussing some archaic symbols with Henry. What sort of gentleman leaves a lady waiting out here alone and in the dark? A terrible one? I'm sorry, Angela. I'll make it up to you. I've heard that one before. So what were you and Henry talking about? Ancient ruins again? Of course! I was just telling Henry about my latest progress. I think there may be a connection between our own Norwal Wall and the Azran. Really? But no one knows what the Norwal Wall says. Not yet, but it's only a matter of time before someone deciphers it. People have just been going about it all wrong. It's really just a sliding block puzzle. What, did I say something funny? No, you just look so passionate when you talk about your research. It's quite endearing, Randall. I can't help it. Archaeology tells the story of our past. It defines our identity at the very basis of human existence. Yes, of course. I want nothing more than to become a respected archaeologist. Well, there's that, and... What? Oh, nothing. We can talk about that later. I may have more than one surprise up my sleeve for you. Randall, you can't always keep me in the dark about everything. But it's more fun that way. I like keeping you on your toes. Come on, it's getting chilly. Let's go and have a cup of tea. Very well, R Randall. It's so mysterious. The greatest mystery of an age. Fresh spring air. It's good to go outside once in a while. Nothing like a good old nap here in the shade. At night. I slept here earlier. I can't say a bath in a babbling brook was on my to-do list. Yep. The moon is out. The stars is shining. Y you can see the low-color bit depth of the DS with all the banding and the gradient. Truly, tis a beautiful eve. Uh, back to their house. Oh god, the moon's out. <laughs> Run! Get to cover! Water, food, flashlight, compass. Are we missing anything? Not that I can think of. Master Randall, Master Herschel, I've brought some tea. Great! Henry, by the way, thank you for helping me out with Angela. Of course, glad to be of assistance. You've worked so long and so hard to fulfill this dream, I thought I had to do something. Thank you, Henry. You're a true friend. Thank you. It was no trouble. Herschel, did I tell you that Henry has been helping me with my research? I couldn't have come this far without Henry. Well, that's impressive. Now I know who to blame for all your progress, Randall. I assume you'll be coming with us, Henry? Sadly, no. I must remain here to perform my household duties. My father is pretty demanding. Henry is his right-hand man. If he saw that Henry was gone, father would definitely get sus. Ah, oh, yes, I hadn't thought of that. So it looks like we'll, we're, we're set here. You should go home and get some sleep, Herschel. It won't be easy, but tomorrow, at dawn, we set out to unearth the biggest find of the century, of any century. No risk, no glory, eh, Randall? Had I stopped him that night, perhaps he would still be with us now, if only we had listened to Angela. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Well, that's... I mean, we know things don't go well, but man. Nice and ominous. Hmm. Chapter 5. Miracles Unmashed. It was you! It was you. It was you. After finding the truth behind the masked gentleman's past miracles, we went to the gallery plaza. Mm -hmm. There, mm -hmm. we witnessed innocent bystanders being lifted into the air before they disappeared. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. Within minutes, the police arrested Alphonse Dalston on suspicion of aiding the masked gentleman. Mm hmm. Job done. Game's over. Could it be that he was the mastermind behind this series of incidents? Yeah, that's why he was arrested. Police don't miss! As dawn broke on our third day in Montedor, I wondered, had we come any closer to the truth? Mm-hmm. The case is closed. It's only chapter five. 
<laughs> oh, sleepy. Good morning, Luke. Ready to head out to begin today's investigation? Um, yes, Professor. You look tired, Luke. If you want to go back to sleep, the Professor and I can investigate the amusement park on our own. What? No, I'm fine! Ah, ha, ha. Amy was just joking, Luke. Before we set out today, let's review what we have thus far. Right, so the next miracle is supposed to take place in Pumpkin Park. Pumpkin... Pumpkin Park? Why, I know the theme song to Pumpkin Park. It sounds a little something like this. Will you be able to stay focused at an amusement park, Luke? Of course! I'm a professional, Emmy! Alright, I was just making sure. Your teasing isn't helping us, Emmy. If you don't mind, I would like to foil the masked gentleman's plans today. That's the spirit, Luke. We must also find a way to clear Dalston as well. A professional Emmy. Let's head to City Hall and find out what the police have to say. City Hall, north of the Lador Mansion. Let's go. The latent secret! And a bunch of puzzles I missed, apparently. Damn. What's that episode? I can't believe Onst is missing Pumpkin Park. The Leighton house is always full of good cheer. If there's ever any bickering, they're always sure to resolve things before bed. I guess you're able to explore more around in Stansbury. That I missed. Maybe go back to his house. What's the secret this time? I know, they got like 50 secrets. Is it the secret of her... What was it? What was the name of the pudding? Anybody remember? Grody Dick. Grody Dick. It's the secret of the dick. I'm exhausted! I think I'll head off to bed now. What, at this time? That's unusually sensible of you. Yes, well, it feels as if I've been running around all day between searching for father and keeping up with Randall. At least change into your pajamas, Herschel. Otherwise, you'll get everything wrinkled. Oh my god, do we get to see Herschel in his jammies? Of course, mother. My apologies. I think it's just got like a pick rat pattern all over it. Or just top hats? Maybe he's just obsessed with top hats from a young age. And like, you get a top hat when you turn 18. And not a moment sooner, young man. Sweet dreams, dear. Good night, son. Yo, Wrinkle, your one and only outfit. Finally, the boy's asleep. So what was that all about, then? With time, this time with stripes. That hair will not fit. That's why he had to cut his hair. What? The boy gets so tired when he sleeps, when he just sleeps in his... The boy gets so tired he just sleeps in his clothes sometimes. I don't think it's something to worry about. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. Those men in the black suits. Why are they asking for Herschel? Oh, Lucille? It's late. Can't we just talk about this in the morning? Absolutely not, Roland. I want to know who those men were and what business they had out here in Stansbury. They were just a team of archaeologists who wanted to see Norwell. I'm not a tourist, Randall. Those men haven't been near a dig site in their lives. With those manicured hands? Yes, I saw that. I could hardly accuse them of lying, could I? And I don't know what they wanted with Herschel. Or why they simply gave up when I told them he was out. I don't like this. I don't like it one bit. Listen to me, Lucille. Herschel's our boy. He'll be fine. Yes, well, he's still young, but I suppose he does have a solid head on his shoulders, just like his father. And his heart's in the right place, too. Thanks to his mother, he'll be all right. Let's leave it at that. Very well. I hope we can just leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. What, that, what secret was that? That was a, a, more, more the Leighton's conversation than the Leighton see Okay, fine. Well, um, we're right at the start of a new chapter. So I think that's probably a good spot to leave it for now. We'll come back to this next time. Maverick Buggy, thanks for 10 months. I've been living in the attic for 10 months now. Hope it's comfy. Thanks again for the hammy, this time paradox, hammy Sargoto. And Ori Rocks, thanks for 22 months. My fucking air fryer broke, Lord Barris. Oh, shoot. Hope you'll be able to get it fixed or get a replacement not too pricely. That's the secret. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 
by Ju hopefully you're hopefully you're enjoying Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. It's kind of amazing that this early in the game they're already like, so the Masked Gentleman's a fraud. And we know how he's done everything up until this point. <laughs> There's no like, maybe he is magic. It's like, no. No, we're getting to the bottom of this, damn it. We're here to use our brains. They're here to use our brains, the smarts. Do, 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 do. Quarter past three, dang. It's only 8.16 here. Dee, 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 dee. How would y'all like to uh, say hi to Octo? Been a bit since we've done an Octo raid. He's playing Majora's Mask. I don't know if you know this, but I quite like that game. Bum 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 bum. Should I sh should I really quickly? Re-upload Moongle <laughs> so we can raid with Moongle. Wait, shit. Fuck. How much time do I have? More masks, I know, right? Do I still have it uploaded where I can just swap it out? I don't. Shit. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Matrariances only? Um, I just hit the flag because sometimes I swear and sometimes we talk about Tiddy. I don't know. Yeah, I just ended the raid. To me, it's just like I'd rather hit mature audiences and then like if I say anything that is uncouth, it's like, well, I'm not, it's not my fault that you hit, you had to hit the button. Sometimes we talk about groaty dick. <laughs> exactly. Um, mostly for language. It's mostly just for language. Have a good one. Thank you. Where where the hell did I save this? Fuck. There it is. Um, this is so worth it for the. I know everyone's leaving, but for those of you who are staying, for the raid, this is gonna be so worth it. Oh my god, it's gonna be great. Upload. Where? There. There. He is it. Wait, was it this one? Or was it this one? I named it ver Moon Version 2 and Mer Moon Version 2 better. And I'm like, well, maybe it's the better one. How about that? Yeah, there he is. Okay. All right. I'm turning in, tuning in from under a bridge? Hell yeah. Uh, what do I, I have to get rid of something for... What am I getting rid of? Shit. Uh, we're no longer gaming. <laughs> I I regret to inform you all, we are no longer gaming. But we do have Moongle. So not not the BTTV Moongle, but... I want to make sure we have... Is this worth it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just happy with it. I think it's a fun raid. Gamer hours are over. I still don't have it. I refreshed my chat. Where is it? Oh, I see. Someone has it. Okay, some people have it. What if I type it out? No. Oh, it shows up in that chat. On mine, it's just the text still. Well. How about now? Well, now my chat broke? I hit refresh and it just, there's nothing. It's an empty square. It should be fine. Just rate. Yeah, we'll just rate. All right. So remember, remember, it's 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 the bar moon goal, not regular moon goal, because that's BTTV. Bar moon goal. And if you don't have that, if you're not subscribed, just raid with the moon, the moon with the face emoji. That guy. That one's really good. The moon face and the sun. The ones with faces are very good. So go see Octo. Help you. He's been doing Zelda games all month. Um. And it's while he's all the way up to Majora? I know he streams a lot, but damn, that's a lot of zelda to be that far. Because then he's been playing through them all in order. In order of release. Just a lot. It's Legend of Zarch. He's the best names. Damn. So anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out. I'm just going to hit raid now. Goodbye. He's followers only chat, by the way. So follow. Yeah, you should follow him. Octo's great.
It's good to know. Thank you. Uh, see you late. Goodbye. I'll be back to this soon. TM. So maybe see you then. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. Goodbye. And uh, VOD watchers, thank you for VOD watching. Hope you're enjoying Professor Lane the Miracle Mask. Take care. Be well. And uh, see you later. Go solve a puzzle or something. Goodbye.